Depot, you'll find resources at promote.lrn.fm, including details on how to get a free bumper sticker, quarter page flyers you can print out and distribute, banners for your website, as well as files that will allow you to make your own custom banners and graphics. Visit promote.lrn.fm and help bring new listeners to the Liberty Radio Network. That's promote.lrn.fm. Ladies, with a U.S. divorce rate near 30% in this job market, looks matter. Breast enhancement or reduction, a tummy tuck or a little lipo can work wonders on you and your confidence. With hospital rates at fractions of U.S. prices and thanks to the recent Thai coup, unheard of low airfare and jaw-dropping deals on luxury hotel rooms. Provide a little info. Get a quote. Hit us up at asiarunlikehellguide.com. Lock it here for more live content. Free Talk Live is next on the Liberty Radio Network. You're listening to the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keen in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, August 23rd, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.44 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,281 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $506. Antiwar.com reports, claiming the Ukrainian government was deliberately dragging out the delivery of 280 trucks full of humanitarian aid stalled in customs at the border with Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered the convoy to go in irrespective of Ukraine's wishes and deliver aid to civilians trapped in the eastern Ukrainian war zone. Reports out of Russia say that part of the convoy arrived in the seized border city of Luhansk, setting up aid centers across the city, delivering food, water, medication, and even some electrical generators to the city. The rest is headed further south to the largest city of Donetsk. The Ukrainian government is calling the deployment of humanitarian aid a direct invasion by Russia and is demanding an immediate withdrawal of all trucks as well as all of the supplies they brought in. Ukraine initially made a deal with the Red Cross to bring in aid weeks ago, but reneged when the Red Cross made a deal with Russia to provide much of it. Since then, the Red Cross has been trying to work out a deal to bring the aid themselves, but were not able to get Ukraine's assurance that their aid trucks wouldn't be attacked. The U.S. government angrily condemned the Russian aid shipment, declaring the dispatch of food and medicine a flagrant violation of Ukraine's sovereignty and threatened new sanctions on Russia if the aid is not withdrawn on immediately. Russia's UN ambassador lashed Ukraine over the delay, accusing them of playing politics with the aid and saying that with no chain of command in Ukraine to work with, Russia had no choice but to send the aid unilaterally. Ambassador Cherkin also criticized Lithuania, the member of the UN Security Council, which called an emergency meeting over the aid shipment. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to take Peace, Love, Liberty Radio on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty, while simultaneously continuing to create daily Liberty Media. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit GoFundMe.com slash FPPCC. That's GoFundMe.com slash FPPCC. Reuters reports, Tennessee death row inmates whose execution dates have been set filed suit on Friday against the state to stop it from using the electric chair. Federal public defender Kelly Henry, who represents five of the 11 condemned inmates named in the filing, said it was filed because the state of Tennessee stands alone as the only jurisdiction in the entire world which now involuntarily subjects inmates to the electric chair. She said the filing, with four different attorneys involved, amended a suit filed in November that challenged the process of lethal injections in the state and also said executioners' names should be revealed. The Tennessee General Assembly in its last session passed a law making the electric chair the backup plan for Tennessee executions if the drugs for lethal injection become unavailable or if lethal injection has been deemed unconstitutional. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. 
Antiwar.com reports the Palestinian parliament is complaining about a growing Israeli military crackdown against the elected body, with Israeli troops regularly moving against members of parliament across the West Bank. In theory, the parliament has 84 members, but 36 of them are in Israeli jails right now. Of the 36 detainees, 24 of them are being held under administrative detention totally without charge. Khalida Jarrar, a member of parliament from Ramallah, one of the non-detainees, was woken up pre-dawn on Wednesday by Israeli troops who ordered her to relocate to Jericho. Israel claims she was inciting against Israel's occupation of the West Bank. Israel has been cracking down increasingly across the West Bank since the Gaza war began, labeling every public protest a riot and moving violently to crush any signs of dissent, particularly in East Jerusalem. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. I just got off the phone with New York. We are the number one network in the world. And it is an honor to stand before you at such an exciting time. We're stretching boundaries that will irreparably alter people's perception of what they are willing to watch. And our next season will offer tantalizing programming that plays seamlessly into the desire of our viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you just a taste of what ODS has to offer. You know the rules. Grow a pumpkin or go home. Here's the twist. Only one of you has the real pumpkin seeds. Are you a pumpkin or not? You call yourselves pumpkin growers? I know I didn't get the pumpkin seeds. I dug in there. They're bean sprouts. Starting a pumpkin alliance. Anyone grows a pumpkin, we split the money. Get out of my patch. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855-453, that's 855-450-3733, live Saturday night edition of Free Talk Live with Mark and Daryl. Daryl, I pushed the wrong button. And Daryl. There you go. Sorry about that. Free Talk Live. So you can call in and talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about here on Free Talk Live. That's what we do. We Open the phone lines and let people who want to talk about whatever it is that's on their mind call in and talk about it. But I think what's been on America's mind right now is kind of what's going on in Ferguson. And it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Yes. But to a lot of people, what it means is police overreach. That things that police officers do might be interpreted entirely different if the average person did them. Yes. Which means that a piece of metal hanging from your chest somehow makes you different. And I don't think most of us really believe that. But apparently there's a now been a list of guidelines that have been brought out by a Homeland Security professor. Yeah, a guy that was for 17 years a police officer with the LAPD And according to the Washington Post, he is a professor of Homeland Security at Colorado Tech University. I would have never guessed there was such a thing. Yeah, I've never heard of a professor of Homeland Security, but not really sure why the Washington Post would lie about the guy's credentials. I don't think they would. Especially when you're already listing a 17-year police officer. So he has written a fairly lengthy article on the Washington Post uh, website, and I'm going to post the link to the full article to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash freetalklive. But there's a very important part that's right in the middle to where he says, here's what you can do to avoid getting killed, beaten, tased, etc. by the police. Says, Well, I'd like to avoid being those things. Yes. I think most people would. You know, there there is the rare exception of people that, you know, want to go out, you know, suicide by cop is what they call it. But, you know, the average person wants to avoid those. 
So let's just jump in to the meat of the article here. He says, even though it might sound harsh and impolitic, here's the bottom line. If you don't want to get shot, tased, pepper sprayed, struck with a baton, or thrown to the ground, just do what I tell you. Don't argue with me. Don't call me names. Don't tell me that I can't stop you. Don't say I'm a racist pig. Don't threaten that you'll sue me and take away my badge. Don't scream at me that you pay my salary. And don't even think of aggressively walking towards me. Most field stops are completed in just a few minutes. How difficult is it to cooperate for that long? Well, um, yeah, I mean, like this guy thinks that uh, that, that we should be cooperating with him. Um, he thinks that the public serves him, not vice versa. Right. Now, I, I would agree with him. I think that anybody who believes that police are, in fact, public servants doesn't live in the same country I do with the same news stories I read. But that's the story we're told. It's like 1984 where the, right. you know, the... The, the depart- chocolate ration is increasing from 20 grams to 15 grams. Yay! Right, it's like that. And I, I, look, I've never had these problems before. I've never had them. I've never had a police officer overstep their boundaries with me. The only time I've ever had a gun pointed at me, it was being held by a police officer. That's fine. They responded to the wrong house and thought that I had robbed myself. (laughs) Well, um, didn't you feel safer when you were done? No. Okay. No, I did not. So I guess... Let me me read off the list of what I'm supposed to do in dealing with a police officer again. Okay, so here's things you don't do. Don't argue. Don't call him names. Don't tell him that he can't stop you. Don't call him a racist pig. Don't threaten to sue to take away his badge. Don't scream that you pay his salary. And don't even think of aggressively walking towards him. And think was in the italicized. Yeah. So basically, you know, don't even think about doing anything that he could interpret as being possibly aggressive. I guess I agree with what he's saying here. I think that those are good systems for dealing with police, but not because I believe the police are professional individuals um, that are qualified to do their jobs. Quite the opposite. Um, I think that it's quite possible that you can get shot in dealing with them, and that if you do, that whatever they say is going to be the story that everybody goes with. Yes. Because in this country, in 2000, not in the country, in this day and age, 2014, when you everybody's got a camera on their cell phone, and it's completely within the realm of possibility that police could have body-mounted, car-mounted cameras that upload audio and video directly to the internet. This could be done in the vast majority of the United States. And then we would have audio and vis- visuals of what actually occurred instead of having to believe somebody who was a C-plus student and, you know, ended up being a police officer. I'm not saying that that doesn't mean that they're entirely qualified. Everybody's got to have a job, but I shouldn't have to believe you. Not today. There's more. He says, I know it's scary for people to be stopped by cops. I also understand the anger and frustration if people believe they have been stopped unjustly or without reason. I am aware that corrupt and bully cops exist. When it comes to police misconduct... Why do corrupt and bully cops exist if police are such paladins of justice? Don't Why don't they go and get them? Because every time I see a police beating video, I see the police, plural, beating people. I don't see one cop pulling the other cops off and saying, Hey, what are you guys doing? This is completely uncalled for. As a matter of fact, I've never seen that. There's been two stories that have come out since I've been doing this... Uh, the the show for 12 years now that I've seen where one uh, police officer reported a couple of police officers afterwards. And she got fired. She got fired. And 
a bad re- uh, bad recommendation, and another one where a Florida department, uh, Florida of, uh, FHP, pulled over a I think it was a Broward County or Dade County. Oh yeah, cop that was going 120 miles an hour in his co- squad car. Had been doing this the same thing for three months, and he didn't expect to be pulled over. And then after that incident, the entire police department of the cop that got pulled over was then targeting the officer that stopped the other officer that was speeding. Yep, they're ha- hassling her online. In both cases, these were women, interestingly. And um, in both cases, they got a lot of flack. Now, that says to me that you, if you are a good cop, that you re- realize relatively quickly that this is a club. Yes. And that if you violate the rules of conduct of the they club... They will beat you with the club. You you had better have another line of work coming up soon. And you ought to move because, yes. you know, things ain't going to be so great for you. So he says, when it comes to police misconduct, I side with the ACLU. Having worked as an internal affairs investigator, I know that some officers engage in unprofessional and arrogant behavior. Sometimes they behave like criminals themselves. I also believe that every cop should use a body camera to record interactions with the community at why all don't times. They? Why, why, if this college professor says that that's so, why don't they? Rialto, California put body cameras on their cops. These don't even o- upload directly to the internet, which is what I de- I'm demanding right now. But just body counted, uh, mounted ca- uh, cams dropped uses of force by 66%. And complaints against police officers for brutality by 80%. This is a win-win for everybody. The reason they don't, and I've been to legislative committee hearings here in New Hampshire where this was discussed, they don't because of the cost, and they claim, well, based on this rule, we would have to have it on while talking to somebody that just got raped, and that would not be fair to them. Oh, boy. Free Talk Live. What do you think? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. Hi, Chuck Woldery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works. Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. I travel for work during the week, and it's tough being away from home. But America's Best Value Inn treats me like family with free Internet so I can keep up with work and those back home. A continental breakfast in the morning and instant rewards with the Value Club so I can save more money at most of their 1,000 hotels in North America. If you travel for work, go to AmericasBestValueIn.com and discover the best value on the road. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. 
freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, freedomsphoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to freedomsphoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenix.com. Freedomsphoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 if you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. The live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Daryl. You can actually call us on Skype, too. We, uh, we, we Our username is lrn.fm. That says in Liberty Radio Network. lrn.fm on Skype. Give us a call there. Call Clarity tends to be a bit better on Skype. and Generally, as long as you have a good internet connection. And you can call from pretty much anywhere and, you know, no charge. So lrn.fm on Skype or 855-450-FREE. Live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. I know you're not used to live programming on the weekend, in the evening, but we believe you deserve it. So we provide it on Free Talk Live, and we're one of the very few radio programs that does. So 855-450-FREE. I have the solution to Obamacare in my hand. It's Asia runlikehellguide.com. It's a website. Go there. Take a look. If you need a medical procedure or you're thinking about getting a medical procedure, perhaps an elective surgery, um, you know, those sorts of things, please go to asiarunlikehellguide.com and take a look at their pricing because there, uh, they, they, they broker for a major hospital in Bangkok, one that uh, serves more than 300,000 patients a year from 40 countries, 300 doctors. Take a look at the pictures there. You will be, you can rest assured that this is high-end medical care, in fact, higher than some hospitals in the United States, and it is significantly less costly. If you have to get a med- medical procedure you don't have insurance, don't go bankrupt Go to asiarunlikehellguide.com. If you have a giant copay, don't take a look. Just go take a look at asiarunlikehellguide.com. Cancer surgery, major medical bypass, um, whatever it is you need, cosmetic surgery. And it's, you know, just for the price of a plane ticket, essentially. Asia, well, to get over there and, and uh, get this procedure, asiarunlikehellguide.com. It is well worth the look. You know, it made me feel a lot better because I didn't know how I was going to handle this. The uh, insurance is getting really expensive monthly. As a matter of fact, for the cost of about 18 months worth of insurance, you can get bypass surgery. Not that you're looking for bypass surgery, but if you need it, you need it. You know what I mean? Let's go to Doug in Michigan. Um, 855-450 free, free talk live. Doug, you're on free talk live. Hey, how you doing? Hello? Um, can you hear me? Yes, I got you. Okay. Yeah, um, I just wanted to tell you guys about a situation that happened one time about 20 years ago when I first started working at the prison that I work at. I just had an occasion to see uh, kind of these special operations guys uh, that you saw like in in, uh, Ferguson that got called in, kind of the way that they behave and uh, just really – 
it just really amazed me. L- let me ask you this. So you're talking about um, like a SWAT team kind of thing, right? Right. Disturbance control, special operations. There's a couple of two different teams, but yeah, they're like special ops guys that deal with problems inside the prison. Do they bring them direct <clears throat> in from sort of around the state? They call them in for particular instances, or is it just a team of correctional officers that work at that particular prison? Correct. The, second, the, the latter. Yeah. It's okay. Correctional officers here. But uh, it was, I was just, I was a rookie and I was, they had, we had a food strike and the warden called, you know, declared an uh, institutional emergency and called in the, the teams. And I was just really amazed. It was the first time I've ever been exposed to anything like this before. And just uh, these guys' attitude when they came in, it was like, I, I was just so amazed because they were just chomping at the bit. They wanted so bad to get in there and bust heads. I mean, they were really hoping that this thing escalated into an all-out battle with these guys. And every single time I've seen them activated, it's the same spirit. I mean, it's... I saw it one time, too. Uh, The the prison that I was at was in lockdown for, I think, three days, and they sent these guys in with their helmets and their shields and their sticks and the whole thing. And, uh, you know, they were just kind of pulling people out of line and asking them mean, kind of rough questions just to see if they could get them to go off. These aren't people that were involved in any kind of riot or anything like that. Just kind of, you know, you weren't looking down and not speaking enough or something and just trying to see whether they could goad them into some kind of response. Exactly. And that's what they do. And as soon as they give you any amount of resistance whatsoever, any staff member can call over the goon squad and they just, they slam them and drag them off to the hole so and it's just it's a it's it's really uh, it's scary it really is this is you know i mean these these teams tend to be the ones that the most testosterone driven of the uh of the guards are going to be drawn to you know the one the the cool guards they're not going to be on this team you know it's not for them it's uh you know 12 or 24 the hand-picked biggest uh, most upset uh prison guards they've got right yeah so the guard that will look the other way because you've you know wet some toilet paper and then added soap to it to form you know some sort of little arts and crafts thing which technically is contraband to you know mix water with toilet paper and soap uh so the guard that looks the other way because you're bored and did arts and crafts he's not the guy that they're going to put on these teams they're going to put the guy that wants to crack some heads that's always looking for an excuse to crack some heads. Yes, exactly. Doug, thanks yeah, for the call. What's that? Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you about that experience. Do you have time? Yeah, go right ahead. Well, when, when they brought the special operations team in, it was the middle of the summertime, and, and they all had their helmets, all their full battle gear on, just like you saw in Ferguson. But they had like, like these ninja masks on, like these um, you know ski masks. They were wearing for hours and hours at a time, and at one point I went over to the guy and I said, dude, why in the world are you guys wearing these ski masks? What, what could possibly be the reason for that? And he kind of looked at me and he kind of blinked his eye and he said, uh, they, can't sue you if they, they can't sue you if they can't identify who hit them. I said, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. So there that's kind of there. And you see the same thing happening in Ferguson. They took off their name tags, they cover their faces, they wear a gas mask when they don't need to be wearing gas masks, and it's to, it's to conceal their identity so they can just kick butt and take names and don't have to worry about any repercussions. Yeah, it dehumanizes on both sides. Yeah. I mean, when you have those, that's the purpose of glasses, of these these sunglasses when police don't need to wear them. You know, I mean, everybody yeah. needs to wear sunglasses now and then, but that's the idea is to put something between you and me. Yeah. I am now an automaton. I can get away with whatever I want. I am the government's minion. I am the king's man. Thank you so much, uh, Doug. You. I appreciate the call. And when this author said that... Um, you know, sometimes cops act like criminals. This is the 17-year-old police, 17 17-year police veteran. Yes. And uh, Homeland Security Professor is the other title, and I'm not yes. sure what that means. At Colorado Tech University. That's a pretty telling statement. Sometimes the police act like criminals. Not that the sometimes the police are criminals, but sometimes they act like criminals because they're not actually criminals. They could never really be that, right? Right, like because they, 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 they've got the little badge. So, therefore, it's not a crime when they do it. Interesting. Let's go to uh, William calling in from Arizona. William, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit with Mark about his badge camera idea that I've heard him um, detail a few different times. Here I am. And I understand the idea, and it sounds great, and, you know, it sounds like it would solve a lot of problems. But I did have an experience um, a couple of years ago that maybe 
showed a negative side. Please do. Please tell me about it. I'd love to hear it. Hold, um, actually, hold the line because I um, just hold through the break. I, um, I'd love to hear it. Because this idea has been implemented in a few different police departments up to this point with success. Now, not nationwide. I'd like to see it nationwide. But you got to listen to both sides. I want to hear what the, you know, what the drawback is. So, William, hold the line. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Global warming purports rising CO2 levels while evolution describes mutated DNA. The fraudulent sciences describe effects of iron poisoning and copper depletion. As generations are iron poisoned and copper deprived, the DNA has mutated and weakened as blood types A, B, and O. These blood types and rhesus factor are falsely used as evidence of evolution. Humans were created solely with blood type AB negative. Fraudulent science reports mutated DNA coupled with rising CO2 levels in blood are causing humans to go into extinction. In truth, humans are being methodically exterminated by iron poisoning and copper depletion. Blood type AB is on the Shroud of Turin and matches the healthy population. They claim this is evidence. They are from the line of Christ and thus are his Christ. They are from the lines that were disinherited 2,000 years ago, and now they claim to be his Christ. For further information, go to unveilingthem.com. That is U-N-V-E-I-L-I-N-G them.com. Unveilingthem.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 
855-450-3733. You can give us a call, talk about whatever's on your mind. Use Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. You'll have to send a user request first, but we'll, it should take us about a, a segment to take care of it. 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. Here on Free Talk Live. I want to tell you about My Magic Mud. It is a tooth powder, a dark black tooth powder that you can whiten your teeth with. I know none of this makes any sense, but I've used it, and it is very effective. Um, In one application, I saw the difference with my teeth. I drink a lot of coffee. And in four, all the stains were gone. I still use it every other day. I used it um, every day for the first week or 10 days. Two minutes to apply, just your regular toothbrushing. You use the powder instead of your regular toothpaste. It's also good for people who have sensitive teeth, people who don't like the taste of toothpaste. Check it out. It's a really awesome deal. 150 applications for 25 bucks. It's not expensive. You can have white teeth in, uh, you know, m- just minutes, You're as white as your teeth are. I mean, it doesn't magically make your teeth whiter, but it will make your teeth as white as your teeth can be, which you'd be surprised how white that is. All natural. It's a uh, bentonite clay and, uh, and charcoal, the same stuff they have in filters. And you know how it grabs the stuff out of the water? It grabs the stuff out of your mouth. Your teeth are going to feel polished all the time. It's like a hygienist visit in a little bottle. It's mymagicmud.com. It is totally worth your time. Check out the video there at the, on the website from biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole as he explains some of the benefits of My Magic Mud. Mymagicmud.com. Let's go back to William in Arizona. William, tell me what happened with the cop-mounted cam that uh, changed your mind. Okay, so a couple of years ago, I have a friend named Pedro that he's in one of these situations where, you know, if I have a tail light that's out or a crack in a windshield, I'm going to get pulled over and I'm going to get a repair order or something like that. Um, but he, when he gets pulled over, He's going to have his vehicle impounded. It's going to cost him about five hundred to thousand dollars. You know, by the time it's all said and done. So that's his perception uh, of it. Yes. Okay, I wouldn't. I, I don't doubt it. I just understand that. You know, this is this is how we see the world. It's a perception. I remember one time I got pulled over for a headlight. I, the cop said, "Your headlights out." I I jumped out of the the vehicle to went to run around. I thought for a second, you know, if this guy had been jumpy, I'd been dead. Because yeah. I just got out of that car. Um, really? You know, and I went to look at the head. Couldn't believe him. Sure enough, the headlight was out. Go ahead, William. Yeah, well, I've had the experience of getting pulled over, and that's what happens to me is I get repair orders. And Same multiple here. times, he's got pulled over, and the vehicle gets impounded because he has issues with his license. Okay. Um, he ends up, you know, he has to go to work to pay. But I think a lot of people are in this situation. They've got to pay the the court they've got to pay the impound and everything else they've got to get to work how do you get to work if you don't drive you know yep so at any rate he called me and it's not you know this has happened a few times that he'll call me and i go meet him somewhere and pick him and his tools up while he his vehicle gets impounded um at any rate this time a couple years ago when it happened i decided i was going to talk with the officer a little bit um And I had all kinds of things I was going to talk to him about very nicely. But uh, when I got there, um, he seemed like a jovial enough guy. So I did. You know, I went to him. I said, hey, you know, Pedro's just a working guy trying to get things done. And this really messes him up. Um, At any rate, this officer happened to have a camera. It was seemed like a pair of glasses frame only with a camera on the side of it. Okay. Um, And his... He didn't specifically say because of the camera, but essentially, um, you know, his response was that that he was not able to use the discretion the way that, uh, you know, you would like him to because he is now on camera. He can't uh, he, he can't sort of just let something go. Yes, exactly. But so, you that's know, a believe you me. I like your idea, and I, if I could push a button and make it happen, I would do it. But there are, you know, there are some some drawbacks. There's some cons. Hold yeah. on, William. Yeah, I, I I've had police officers admit on the stand that they are allowed to use their discretion in determining whether or not to give someone a ticket. 
So the fact that there's a video camera should not, you know, prevent the police officer from being a normal human and using his discretion. Well, it shouldn't, but you do understand that, uh, I mean, you know, now with the video, the, the idea is is to put the officer uh, you know, to, to, to give to give other people an opinion about how he does his job. So if he uses too much discretion, he's not exactly being an officer, you know? Um, I can kind of, I can see the point, but I think that uh, I, I think that what we what we really need, if if we're gonna operate in this whole paradigm of law enforcement officers, we need laws that officers enforce. And we need them to not be revenue generators and actually go after real criminals. But either way, I don't think officers really should have discretion. I mean, I understand that they do, and I like it when they use it for me. But if they're going to get let me go with a uh, headlight that's out and let me run around the vehicle without uh, shooting me dead, shouldn't they be treating other people like that? Isn't that the profession that we want from police officers? See, where I was born and raised, the thing such as a headlight, they called that a fix-it ticket. Yeah. To where you've got 72 hours to go make the repair. You then go to any police department within the city. You show them the ticket, and you show them the repair, and then, okay, everything's gone. Like, you know, this ticket never happened. William? Yeah, I've had that happen a number of times. Um, it typically happens, so I drive an 06 Dodge that looks pretty good. And once in a while, I take it into the shop or something, and I borrow my dad's backup vehicle. It's a 78 uh, GMC Jimmy. And I kid you not, when I get in that vehicle, if I see an officer behind me, I start putting on the seatbelt and everything because I know I'm going to get pulled over. I don't drive any different in that older vehicle than I drive in my vehicle. Um, but if I make a sweeping turn or anything like that, because I'm in an older vehicle, I get pulled over and it's maddening to me. But, you know, what am I going to do about it? What um, um, do they treat you di differently in the vehicle, too, once they get up there or? No, typically once they get up there, I've had pretty good luck. I got a fix it ticket because the headlight was out. I did get a seatbelt ticket one time. Uh, about two years ago, and it was a situation where I made a sweeping turn. I got pulled over. Um, he asked me why I didn't put my seatbelt on, and instead of saying that I wasn't going to answer any questions or anything, I, I told him that I was philosophically opposed to being mandated to wear a seatbelt, which I essentially admitted that I wasn't because I'd put the seatbelt on by that time. Okay. And uh, I got the ticket, 100 yeah. bucks or something like that. Fight that in court, then, buddy. Um, so, do you? Th what do you think the reason is that you generally get away without uh, tickets? Do you think it's because of your haircut, the way you talk to the police officer? What is it? What do you think it is? Um, yeah, I think it is that you know I'm clean cut for the most part. I have the look of a construction worker, um, but I speak very uh, well. Um, I'm respectful and. Uh, you know, I think they get up there, and I handle myself well. Um, the the one that I got pulled over for the headlight, I think I was actually speeding, and he pulled me over, and he asked me why I thought that he might have pulled me over. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll lead him down the headlight um, line of thought since I knew that was a fix-it ticket. So I said, I think I have a headlight out, <laughs> and I did get the fix-it ticket. So Wow. And here, you don't have to go back to the – you're supposed to mail it in within five days or something like that, but uh, nobody ever does, so I just didn't. 855-450 free. Thanks for the call, William. 855-450-3733. So, police officers, do you think that they have a different kind of set of rules they have to follow than you? That's this is what we were seeing in this article here. 855-450 free. How are you supposed to deal with them? Free Talk Live. Crashed. 
The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. Next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Spare fuel can be used in any gas-powered vehicle or generator. Spare fuel is perfect for any unforeseen out-of-gas emergencies. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel is safe to store with your other supplies, and it can be stored for many years. Go to GetSpareFuel.com for special pricing. That's GetSpareFuel.com. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. That's the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. That's 855-450-3733. Mark with you. And Daryl. People probably wondering where Ian is. Um, he is our normal first chair host. And Ian is often, I think, at a birthday party or something. Yeah. Uh, Ellen, who is one of the co-hosts on Friday, had a birthday earlier this week as did a couple of other people that are friends of the show, and there's a party for the three people 
who are having birthdays this week. And Ian decided since Ellen drives down here about an hour, hour and a half to come to the show every Friday, the least he can do is drive out to her place for a birthday. I'm sure she feels indebted. Um, the phone lines are brought to you by ProXPN, and ProXPN is a virtual private network. That is a, it, well, it's a computer program that you use to be able to use the internet with some level of privacy. It creates an encrypted tunnel from your computer to the website you're going to, to their servers, um, actually from your computer to their servers, and then you sort of go from there. So the internet doesn't know who you are. You, it doesn't know where you are. And that's pretty valuable when you consider that mm, the government's looking at everything you do online, uh, that people have been harassed by federal law enforcement officials for looking at recipe, you know, like just looking things up online. Interesting stuff. I mean, you know, like as a talk show host, maybe I would need to do some research on how easy it is to find a bomb, to, ma to excuse me, to build a bomb. Well, maybe I should know that. Well, I'm scared to look. I shouldn't be scared of my government. You shouldn't either. You don't have to be with Pro XPN. You just go, um, you can go and try it out, but once you're ready to buy it, because you, there's a, uh, you know, the sort of uh, a free version, but then you can get the, um, the, the big package where you can do uh, torrents and, um, you know, watch videos and, and all that stuff. Just go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Use the promo code FTL50. And you'll get 50% off of an annual account. That's about five bucks a month. And uh, through FTL 50, you'll get a savings of uh, for the lifetime, no matter how long you use the account. This isn't just for the first year or something like that. You can use Bitcoin, use FTL BTC, and get 62% off of an annual account. So there's a discount with Bitcoin. Again, with a premium account, you'll get unlimited bandwidth, servers all around the world to access, the ability to privately torrent, get past regionally blocked websites, and protect yourself when you're out in the world. You never know who's sniffing your packets. It's important. Pro XPN. Don't keep records of your online habits at all, um, and you can uh, get all of that with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50 or FTLBTC and get a great discount. Let's go to Jimmy calling in from Arizona. Jimmy, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, man, I sure hate when people sniff my packets. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, bet, I bet people are always sniffing your packets. They are. Hey, uh, Jimmy. Huh? I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. He's there. You broke uh, out. Robocop. Oh, hey. go, go repeat what you said. I'm sorry. Let's put Jimmy on just, hold, and uh, we'll get back to you, Jimmy. I, I think you're gonna have to clear up this cell line situation. Let's go to Mike in North Dakota. Mike, you're on Free Talk Live. Oh, hi there. Uh, big fan of the show. Thanks. I was wanted to bring up a point that uh, I don't know that you guys, you know, I think you're missing, that I worked in the utilities industry, and they had uh, GPS on us, and they had cameras in the, elect in the electric company uh, mm -hmm. vehicles, and that's not too liberty-minded for me, and I don't, I don't think it's much of a slippery slope from having cops have it to, uh, you know, requiring all kinds of people to have cameras on them all the time. That seems like the opposite of uh, liberty now well um i mean th when when you take a job working for the public it's you're not you're not at liberty when you take a job period you're not at liberty because you're doing the you're doing something for somebody else so it's one thing to put like i can tell you truck drivers they have the gps thing um they've got cameras sometimes even in the cab and uh, sure, there are plenty of jobs where this is the case. And a lot of times, babysitters. A lot of times, for like the truck drivers, that's for insurance purposes. The GPS, it's to make sure that the logs are accurate to where somebody is not, you know, saying, oh, yeah, I only drove for nine hours yesterday when they actually drove for like 12 because there's all kinds of requirements. You have to rest so many hours for so many hours of driving. So in those sorts of cases, you know, it's to sort of protect the employer from somebody that's doing something that would otherwise cause them a very large fine. I understand, but I, I just don't, I don't like it. 
I'll tell you that much. And uh, it doesn't seem to have anything to do with liberty to me. You know, so what else are they going to put to force us to have cameras on? Well, it's you not know, forced. I mean, it's, that's that, that's an important point, right? Well, you're not, I could just go get another job. That's guess, right. That's you know? exactly the point. Like, you're not at liberty. Well, what job, <laughs> sorry, what job? When is it going to end? You know, okay, you got babysitters, you got truck drivers. You know, I, I just see it getting worse and worse. More cameras is, is not good as far as I'm concerned. Well, I think that if you're going about your day and you aren't on the clock, then you – you know, especially in your home or something like that, you absolutely shouldn't have cameras on you. But if you're working for somebody else, and in this case, police officers do work for the public, um, if you're working for somebody else, I think that person has a right to be able to check in on you. And that's what the cameras are all about. And it's important to note that the reason a lot of people that advocate for police wearing cameras do so, it's to hold the police officers accountable. It's not to use the cameras to spy on everybody that's walking around in a city. Yeah, it's not like, you know, in London they have a million closed-circuit cameras that are looking all the time at uh, people. They even have some microphones so they can yell at them if they feel like it. Um, they're looking at people all the time that aren't getting paid by the government. So, like, somebody who's not being not paying them is looking at them, and I think that's a different story entirely. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mike. Thanks for the call. He didn't sound terribly convinced, but, you know, I, I, I guess there has to be a line somewhere. You have to have a camera in your, I mean, you have to be able to have a camera in your business, right? Can the camera not be pointed at employees? But, I mean, I want to be able to watch my employees. I can watch them if I'm standing there. I can't watch them through a camera. Do you want to make sure that none of your employees are stealing money out of the cash register, but you can't point a camera at the cash register if they're standing there? I mean, it's better than you certainly don't want it to put it in the bathroom. I get that much. Yeah. Let's go back to Jimmy in Arizona. Jimmy, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, uh, y'all got me on here now? I got you. Hey, well, the last thing I want to do is hold the public officials accountable. You know what I mean? Why is that? Uh, they don't need cameras. I mean, you know, they don't ever do nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, which world hey, uh, are you living in, Jimmy? That's a weird question. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Hey, uh, well, here, here in, you know, here in reality yeah. land, the cops do stuff wrong all the time. So you're saying, you know, cops never do anything wrong. I'm just curious, you know, where where it is that you're living. No, nope. Jimmy, this is just a bad connection. I don't want to tell you, man. Usually these calls are so awesome. Uh, let's go to Pat in El Paso, find out what Pat wants to talk about. Hey, Pat, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Pat. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, got you now. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, sorry, there's a big delay. Um, my question is regarding the completion of the Free State Project. Sure. Once everybody has moved um, to New Hampshire... Is there any big plans out there as far as trying to like establish uh, like a practical implementation of like a volunteer society, like having like a big private community somewhere? Um, you know, I, the Free State Project isn't about that, um, but there are certainly people that are looking at doing things uh, like what you're talking about. So the Free State Project, you can go to freestateproject.org to find out more. It's the idea of moving 20,000 people who might be called libertarians or liberty lovers or whatever term you wish to use, because uh, out in the world, we're outnumbered. But, you know, if we concentrate our efforts, then maybe we can have one little place where we can try some of our ideas. Because that's really what that's really what this whole uh, experiment was. Pat, I want, want you to hold the line, if you will. Um, that way we can talk about it, but this a bit more. Uh, that's what really this whole experiment in self governance is about. The United States. What what would it, what is it besides the opportunity for people to try new things? And that's what the Free State Project's about. FreeStateProject.org. You can give us a call at 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live.
The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? Hi. This is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The Internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem, and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E dot com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Tollhouse Morsels, helping you create special moments and memories your family will cherish forever. Visit us at tollhouse.com. You may bake for birthdays and holidays, but why stop there? Sweeten up the rest of the year by designating monthly dessert days. Treat your family to one of their favorites or surprise them with something new. Either way, you'll create a tradition everyone will love. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,279, silver opened at $19.45, and Bitcoin is trading around $513.43. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977, online at rrbi.co, or by phone 800-874-9760. In the news, on Thursday... Missouri Governor Jay Nixon announced that the National Guard would begin withdrawing from Ferguson, Missouri. The city has been the site of protests and clashes between police and protesters since the August 9th shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown. On Wednesday, the number of protesters on site shrank and arrests were much lower than previous nights. Private military contractors Asymmetric Solutions were briefly deployed to Ferguson on Tuesday and Wednesday. After decades of centralized banking, top-down government, and big business, a new model is gaining momentum, a decentralized model of social organizing and doing business. Websites like Indiegogo allow any individual to start a business or fund a project without going into debt to a bank. Supporters of the Liberty Beat in South America are building a new chicken coop on their self-certified organic family farm by using a decentralized fundraising model through Kickstarter. They plan to use sustainable and recycled materials to build a safe home for their free-range flock. The family inherited the former sugarcane farm in a state of disrepair, and they plan to revive it through organic farming practices. They're well on their way, and they now seek the support of like-minded communities through this fundraiser. You can find their project using the hashtag VamosChicken on Facebook and Twitter. A link to their Kickstarter can be found on the LibertyBeat.com. The Liberty Beat will gladly accept information on your decentralized projects through our website and social media accounts. Well, voters in Colorado will soon be able to vote on whether or not to label foods containing genetically modified organisms. Right to Know Colorado fought to get Proposition 105 on the upcoming ballot. Critics say the bill has many exemptions and would end up costing shoppers more money. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud. All natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live each Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock on 1370 AM in Austin. 
That's 4 o'clock each Sunday on 1370 AM. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Two Yale professors have presented a system based on cryptography to balance government surveillance with civil liberties. On Monday, Brian Ford, Associate Professor of Computer Science at Yale University, and Joan Figenbaum, a Grace Murray Hopper professor, spoke at the USENIX workshop on free and open communications on the Internet about their project, Lawful Set Intersection Protocol. The professor said they believe modern cryptography could help law enforcement agencies find and surgically extract warrant-authorized data on suspects without invading the privacy of innocent users of technology. On August 11th, Vietnam's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development approved importation of several types of genetically modified corn varieties. Vietnamese farmers will be required to obtain a safety certificate before commercial cultivation can begin. Well, controversy continues to surround genetically modified foods as a number of countries around the world continue to prohibit the growth of the crops. The corn varieties are produced by Monsanto and Syngenta. Monsanto is one of the corporations behind the Agent Orange poison that was used on Vietnamese soldiers during the Vietnam War. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Cory Moore Show. With a focus on all things topical and liberty-oriented, Corey Moore and his band of co-hosts, including me, Brian Hagen, gave a sense of humor while attacking the state. The Corey Moore Show can be heard live each Friday night at 9 o'clock Central Time and 10 o'clock Eastern at CoreyMooreShow.com and LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. We have a breaking news blast on the tragic situation happening across the country in which more than 40,000 Americans have been trapped in a confessions animal hoarding marathon on Animal Planet for the last 13 hours. The Animal Hoarders Marathon began at 9 this morning as victims were preparing for a full day before hearing the fateful sound of the show's opening credits. Almost instantly, thousands were pinned to their couches by a story of a heavyset homosexual living with his partner, his toothless sister, and 31 chihuahuas. Rescue workers rushed to free as many victims as they could. The rope secure? Rope secure. We're going to get you out of here. Just hold on a second, ma'am. Wait, I think the next one is about monkeys. Ready? Ready! Pull! No, no, wait, wait. Can I just see what happens with the feral cat? In other parts of the country, rescue workers enlisted volunteers who had already seen the episodes to spoil them for the victims. Oh yeah, this one. This is about the lady living with the dogs in the trailer. She doesn't even get evicted in the end. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. 855-453, kicking off the second hour. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. That's 855-450-3733. That f- toll-free line brought to you by Pro XPN. And this is the show about your calls. You can call in and talk about whatever you want. It's also the, you know, you can go and control the website, too, at freetalklive.com. Show content. That we look for, we look right there at freetalklive.com, and you can upload stories, blog posts, videos, whatever you think is important. Go check it out. Make an account. All you have to do is have a Reddit account. You can link them right there. It's freetalklive.com. Let's go uh, back to Pat calling in from, sorry, it doesn't say where you are, El El Paso. That's right. So, um, Pat, you were asking about the Free State Project? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, first of all, did you guys put me on mute on the phone? Because I can only hear you from the computer, not through the phone. I don't know what to tell you. No. Okay. Well, anyway, um, yeah, so I was just wondering about, like, in terms of, like, practical implementation of, like, free state people once they get there, you know, just, like, what kind of big projects people had in mind. You know, I've been paying attention to some of the activism going on and, I've seen some of the political um, achievements that have happened so far, but in terms of, you know, some of the big ideals of, you know, having, you know, you know, real effective freedom in our lifetime, I was just wondering what kind of uh, 
activities were taking place regarding that. Yeah. Thanks for the call, Pat. I'm going to let you go since we're having some uh, te- technical difficulties there. But so we let can me, talk about it real quick. Let me read the statement of intent okay. that people that are signing saying that they will move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. Here's the statement that they're signing. It says, I hereby state my solemn intent to move to the state of New Hampshire. Once there, I will exert the fullest practical effort toward the creation of a society in which the maximum role of civil government is the protection of individuals' life, liberty, and property. That's it. End of sentence. End of paragraph. End of statement. Right. So people, um, but the people who move are doing all kinds of different projects. Right. Many are getting elected. There have been dozens and dozens elected to the the state house in New Hampshire. They've created the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, which rates every law that gets passed uh, based on, you know, its effectiveness, its effect uh, to human freedom. Um, This isn't done in any other state. They give a report card to every legislator. Now, that's uh, 35 senators and 400 representatives. and 24 senators. Is it 24? I'm sorry. 24 senators. And they only rank the bills that actually go up for a roll call vote as far as in the ranking of being able to to determine the legislative uh, rank. That's all they could do because the right. others are voice votes and you wouldn't know who voted what. Um, so, yeah, that's what they do. And this is only happening in one place. Now, some people have ideas for sort of starting little enclaves. Like, for instance, there's the Free Town Project going on in Grafton where they've um, actually gotten some people elected right in town. They've, you know, they're, they're within a few dozen people of sort of uh, some control over the town meeting. It's uh, amazing stuff. Lots of things happening here in the Free State Project. And I, I would say that the Free town project from what i know of it it seems as though they are trying to build what is called an intentional community within the larger community of grafton and intentional community is where like-minded people intentionally move to one location sometimes they'll get like a very large piece of land and then subdivide it or do long-term leases But people come together and try to form their own community within the larger community. And I have no interest in that. I just want a house and live in a community like anybody else does. But um, other people want something different. And, you know, God bless them. All the best. Let's go to the phones. Jason, calling in, uh, listening to WYOO. Jason, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Good evening, gentlemen. How are you? All's well, sir. Good. Just just a, a quick... Uh, I'm, I'm actually a law enforcement officer. All right. And uh, it's it's interesting because, I, I, you know, I have a lot of opinions about things going on in other parts of the country. But I imagine uh, there's I no way for you to avoid it, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, right. Um, but I want to speak specifically about, you know, cameras, police officers. Yeah, please, like please tell me that. <laughs> now, I have I have had over over my career, I have had many different cameras that I carry with me. Um, I currently have one that's mounted in my vehicle, yep. um, and that camera sees only basically what I where, what I pointed at. Essentially, it's a stationary camera; it will move from side to side, but its 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 view is limited. It can't see what's happening behind my vehicle unless I do have a rear camera, but its view is also limited. It can't see what's happening beside me on on, on my left or my right. It really only sees what happens in front of me. I do have an audio unit that's attached to that, and it hears everything that I hear, and it hears everything that I say. Mm -hmm. Um, I switched to that from a camera system, which was mounted on my uniform. That camera went with me wherever I went. It saw what I saw, and it heard what I I heard, and it heard what I said as well. Um, If you ask 100 police officers around this country, you're going to get 100 different responses as to how they feel about it. I, I loved my body camera. I, I really did. I, I almost had a relationship with my body camera because that <laughs> you camera guys put on so much equipment um, when you, you know, to do your job in some departments, they actually get money for the 40 minutes it takes them to get dressed. Yeah. And some agencies do. Some agencies do. Ours, ours does not. We sign on 15 minutes ahead of time. We do get paid for that, okay. but um, it does, it takes me about 30 minutes to get ready for work from the, you know, from my boxer shorts and t-shirt and socks. It takes me about 30 minutes to get everything I need to get on. So I've got but, a question. Uh, every- I, I've got a question real quick about the body camera, because I know that there are several different uh, body mounted cameras that are used. 
There's the ones that a previous caller had mentioned where it's sort of like a pair of glasses without any shades or lenses. And then there's one that actually attaches to like the chest area of the uniform. Which of those Correct. two did you wind up wearing? I had the one that attached to the center of my chest. And okay. It attached almost. It, it looked. It was about the size of a pager, and it sat in the middle of my chest. And it was extremely obvious that it was there. All you had to do was look. Um, it wasn't that you know we weren't trying to hide anything or anything like that. Aside from the fact that in public you have no expectation of privacy anyway. Indeed. Um, and and I can be I can be recorded just the same as I can record you. People don't understand. They get offended when they think that they, you know when they find out they're t- you know that they're being recorded. What they don't understand, and the point that I want to make is that those videotapes are made for my protection. They're they're yeah. the, the video camera. Not only not only is it there to protect the public at large from you know a, atrociousness in law enforcement, but more than that, because I'm a good cop and I do my job. More than that, it's there to protect me. Because you're going to get pissed off, and you're going to lie, and you're going to call my chief, you're going to call my deputy chief, you're going to call and, and, and want to start all kinds of things about internal affairs investigations and what I said and what I did and all that. That camera protects me. Right. It so what happened me. in Rialto, California, Jason, was that uh, uses of force decreased by 66 percent, but – um, complaints about brutality decreased by 80%, which says to me that some people were sort of fluffing the numbers. Now, yeah, it also says that, um, you know, certain, certainly two-thirds of the time that force was used, perhaps it didn't need to be used, but it also said that, um, you know, <laughs> four out of five, which is a bigger number, of, uh, of complaints were spurious. And they were, and, and, and I'm... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. They they probably were. I, I guarantee you that they were. And what it is is it's it's um it's it's spitefulness on on their part because a lot of times they don't realize that that they're being recorded. They don't understand. <clears throat> and it, it's a situation where you know they come in and they file a complaint, a formal complaint of some kind, and it's investigated through the internal affairs process and all that type of stuff. And it usually doesn't take very long for those things to check out and and uh, for them to determine. Now they 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 come in and they're encouraged to come in and they're encouraged to come in and actually file a formal complaint, which they which they attest to and swear to that the information that's on it is correct. When they do that, and the internal affairs investigation process starts. If it comes out that, in fact, the information that they provided is not true, but they've attested to it and sworn to it by their signature on the bottom line, then they're turned around and they're charged for filing a false report. And then they're arrested. Jason, there's been some incidences. There was uh, somebody who did some investigation down in South Florida. They'd go around and ask for just an incident report and a piece of paper, and they got harassed and, um, in some cases, almost thrown in jail over it. I want want your reaction to that here in just a moment, if you can uh, hold the line. I really appreciate it. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads this is an excellent book it is also a little scary because it could very well be true i hope it's fiction and julia moffett calls it a gripping read and the most exciting insightful book this year crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its amazon reviewers calling for a sequel this book is totally worth your time it's well researched liberty oriented realistic gripping and gritty do yourself a favor and don't miss this one get your copy at amazon crashed the death of the dollar by william cooper Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, August 22nd, 2014, gold opened at 1279.20. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1325.82, 662.91 for a half ounce, or 331.45 for a quarter ounce. That's 1325.82, 662.91, and 331.45. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. 
Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. When commercials come on, don't push the button. Instead, listen. Even if you don't sell things for a living, you're still selling in the various conversations and transactions that make up your busy day. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're a job seeker. So take a lesson from Madison Avenue. Often the fewer words, the more effective the message. Like Jiffy Lube, where you never need an appointment, or the Office Max ad that says, you supply the ambition, we supply everything else. How about online ticket broker StubHub.com, the way in when it's sold out, or CyberCupidMatch.com's seductive, go ahead, it's okay to look. How cleverly and succinctly can you distill your message? For more tips, hit SurvivalSpeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can give us a call, talk about whatever is on your mind here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. Something's been on your mind. You've been wanting to talk about it. 160 radio stations Free Talk Live's on right now. And we'd love to hear from you. 855-450-FREE. There's a Bitcoin party going on at Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Free Talk Live is going to be there, and you're invited. There's going to be lots of speakers, people from the Digital Chamber of Commerce, the Cryptocurrency College Network, MIT's Bitcoin Project, uh, Bitcoin Pioneer, Pioneer Charlie Shrim, uh, people from Skyhook, Liberty.me, Bitcoin Not Bombs, Mycelium, all the big names in, in the Bitcoin sphere, and you can be involved. Tickets are just $60 for the two-day event. That is cheap. Hotel rooms, 100 bucks. Kids under 12 free. It's October the 4th through Mon- uh, Monday, October 6th. So that's Saturday, October 4th through Monday, October 6th at uh, Lake Bo- with the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista in downtown Disney. Funds mandatory. Come celebrate magic internet money with the Magic Kingdom. It's coinsinthekingdom.com. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Come join us. It's going to be lots of fun. So we were talking with uh, law enforcement officer Jason, who called in uh, from uh, Florida, and he was talking about his experience in having a body cam on. And I just I wanted to know, he had said that when people come in and, and make a complaint, that you know, oftentimes they're, they're asked to swear that the uh, complaint is true. That way, if they're making a false complaint, they can get, they'll get in trouble. And I think that pretty much everybody wants to see that happen. People want to see, look, if you're going to try to get somebody's bread and butter taken away from them, their job, that you better be telling the truth. Right. 
So, Jason, what do you think? Have, I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, there was a reporter who did a story on how hard it was to make a complaint down in South Florida. He went in and just to different departments and just asked for a piece of paper to, you know, the, the complaint form and watched the police at the desk, like, assault him. Like, weird things happened. Well, and it's people take, uh, you know, law enforcement officers as a whole are um, – they will take offense to that. I, I don't necessarily agree with that. If you have a problem with the way I've done my job and, and you and I can't solve it together in the course of me doing my job, then fine. Then by all means, please come in and speak with my supervisors and, and my, my deputy chief of police, who's my direct supervisor, and, uh, and let them know that you don't like the way I did my job. And if you know, whatever allegations that you'd like to make, feel free to make those allegations. Those allegations will be investigated, and they'll be determined to be either correct or incorrect, depending on, on how things work out. But I can assure you that that me personally, I'm going to do my job to the best of my ability. It now. sounds like it to me. I mean, this is what I love to hear when I hear and when, when law enforcement officers call in on Free Talk Live. Um, you know, we get a whole variety of calls from law enforcement officers. But I love when I hear stories like this because it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like, yes, there are professional law enforcement officers out there. The stuff I see in the news and every once in a while when I get a one that's bananas on the on the phone, um, you know, that's just it's just perception. But things let, are sensationalized sometimes. Sometimes they are. Now, tell me about these this body cam. You had, um, a, you know, you have a dashboard cam now. Why did your department get rid of the body cam? Because we didn't actually get rid of it. It was it was reassigned to a different unit because I received a new vehicle which has a system inside of it. I see. Um, and those those cameras are expensive. Like I said, they're little, and uh, they do. They it worked extremely well. It was a high definition unit. Um, it was it was. It was a great. It's a great unit. It's a great tool, and the camera that I have now is is mounted in my vehicle, and my vehicle came with that. So my my other camera was reassigned to to other units. But uh, you know, you're going to hear you're going to hear from from law enforcement agencies around the country. You're going to hear a, a myriad of things. You know, they're too expensive. We can't afford them. We can't. You know, we can't do this. We can't do that. That's why we can't have them. And there are some deficiencies that are built into the system inherently. My system. My system, I have control over my system. I have control over what I record and what I don't. However, our, our agency has standing policies that are in place that that, that dictates that all, in, all encounters that I have with the public will be recorded in whatever means you have to record them. And that up to and including if your unit does break for some reason and it does take, you know, let's say 24 to 72 hours to get repaired, um, then you're you're directed as part of the directive to carry a digital recorder with you that you will then turn on and stick into your pocket and at least you have an audio record. The audio record is very important. Um, the audio record is probably more important than the video record. Now, Jason, uh, people are going to say, I mean, I can, hear, I can hear their little brains working their um, cars right now. They're going to say, yeah, but you know, this video and audio that you record, that's the police departments. And if they don't like it, if it doesn't benefit them, one would assume that this officer in Ferguson, that there's a there's video and audio from that encounter and we haven't got it. And it it seems to get lost whenever uh, it not whenever, but oftentimes it'll get lost when it's uh, when it benefits the you know, not the police officer. Just real quick. It's my understanding that the police in Ferguson did not have the dashboard cameras. Hmm. And some agencies won't, guess. It, it, it's, uh, you know, if they have access to it, it you know, it, it, and it's not even an all, it's not even an all or none situation. It, you know, there are some agencies around the United States where you have a portion of the officers who will have some sort of a recording by, device. And then there's an, another, another portion of officers that don't have a, a recording device. And, you know that's why you get you get situations where you see things you know in the media on the news et cetera et cetera because uh, you know the the officer that was directly involved in the situation may not have had a recording device but an additional officer a backup officer actually did have a recording device and so that's why you see uh, it, it looks it looks odd because it's it's from a different perspective and people are are saying well what am what why, why am I able to see the officer that was directly involved with whatever the incident happens to be from from a different perspective? Where's where's his video? Well, he may not have had one, and that's is that his fault? No, it it certainly is not his fault. Um, I feel like 
most of the people that I work with, most all the people that I work with and that I associate with and that I know at different agencies around here uh, would prefer to have a camera. A camera will protect you. It will save you. It will save you every time because it's going to see and hear everything that you see and hear. For the most part, again, there are some limitations to it. If a dash-mounted camera is looking out the front window of your vehicle and what happens is behind you, to the right or to the left of you, or inside of a residence or a business, it's not going to see that. However, there will or should be an audio record of it as long as the camera itself is running. The video portion of it may just show the parking lot where your vehicle is sitting. Jason, That's all it's going to do. Working in the media, I can tell you the Freedom of Information Acts are done all the time for these uh, these recordings. and. I can tell you that they come up as often as not, um, you know, camera malfunctioned. And these have got to be some really buggy cameras compared to, um, you know, real life. <laughs> uh, I and mean, it's, and it, it's is it true. the department? It, it is true. Is it the officer? Who is it? Well, and that's just it. Everyone has different. Everyone's system is different. I have control over my system. I have control over my storage device. I'm the one who's in charge of, of downloading my everything from my unit. Um, however, those uh, universally, all of the units themselves are lockable, and their uh, the access can be restricted to supervision level only. Um, Jason, I gotta let you go. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Sorry. Free talk live. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Free Talk Live. You give someone an ounce of liberty and they'll go around abusing it and harming everyone else with it. If we legalize guns... People um, be shooting people everywhere. Right. If you legalize prostitution, people will be having sex on the street corners. <laughs> if you legalize drugs, we'll have heroin vending machines in the streets. We've heard it all on Free Talk Live. <laughs> they take it to the most absurd, illogical extremes, and you're absolutely right, Alexander. It's okay for them to have freedom. Yeah, you can give them a gun. They won't go around shooting people, but watch out with their neighbor because you give them a gun, they'll go around in a ramp around right. the city killing everyone. Oh, oh, but yes, they can be trusted, and apparently the government can be trusted, too, because magically, oh, yeah. magically, we only elect the best of the best, the cream of the crop. The bureaucrats that are administering <laughs> these programs are the upper echelon of society, the most trustworthy individuals. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when I squint, I swear I can see a halo above their heads. <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. 
You think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. Want to thank, I want to thank uh, Leo, Jason for st- hanging with us for two segments. That's a big deal. I couldn't uh, just couldn't pull him on for another a third segment, but it was uh, fascinating to hear, you know, right from the horse's mouth, what a law enforcement officer thinks about body worn cameras and what's going on in Ferguson and you know complaints and these kind of things. Um, seemed like a very reasonable fellow. I'm going to the Marijuana Investment Conference in Houston. It's September the 8th, and I'll be there mingling and finding out what's going on with the trends in this new nascent and burgeoning field of marijuana, recreational marijuana specifically. Uh, But I imagine they've got some um, ties to the medical marijuana industry. The market's new, wide open. There's going to be a lot of people making money in this this field the next few years. Um, This isn't some convention where people are hawking bongs and and blown glass and that kind of thing this is investors uh, brought together exclusively uh, with um, you know certified investors with legalized marijuana businesses to create opportunities inside this new sector now i've never even heard of such a thing happening before but i think it's gonna be fascinating what's gonna happen when you get bona fide investors together with uh, these business folks and um, you know, whether they're working sort of in the, the formal pitch, because there's going to be opportunities, pitches, you're going to be listening. There's, and there's going to be obviously the casual stuff that's going on, uh, you know, between seminars or between pitches and um, in the cocktail party afterwards. So I'm very interested. Join me at the Weston Houston Memorial City on September the 8th, bright and early. Register early to get that uh, discount. I think it's still going on. It's MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. Use coupon code FTL. That's coupon code FTL for MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. I'll have some uh, FTL stuff there to give away for you. should be a lot of fun. MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. Coupon code FTL. Let's go to Lumpy calling in from the Shire. Lumpy, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, I'm actually calling in from the Shire. I'm not in the geographical slave farm, often referred to as the state of New Hampshire. <laughs> the Shire but, is a um, is is a is a concept. It's a state of mind. Indeed. You want to talk about a state? I'll have a state of mind. Um, and um, I, I I love you guys, and uh, I miss you guys because I haven't been in uh, New Hampshire for quite a while, and and. Uh, and I love being around all the activism that's going on there. I I, I want to talk about these these uh, these cop cams. And I I initially thought they were a great idea, and I I, I see why they seem like such a good idea. But again, I think about always in my mind. What comes to my mind is, are we striking the root? Um, and you know, questions like this. This come comes to from mind. the uh, the the Henry David Thoreau quote um, for. You know, for the thousand people hacking at the branches, there's but one that's striking at the root. And right, and I still think that we're hacking at the branches. I, I, we're not striking the root. If you want to solve a problem, you got to strike at the root, right? Well, I, I'm thinking that, you know, this thing that we call the state is like one of those trees that grows in the swamp to where there's not just one root. There's, you know, like an entire system of roots, and you have to hack a bunch of them. Apparently, the analogy is now falling apart. And some of them do look <laughs> like branches. Well, he's got a point, because the the, 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 
government and all the branches that cre- get created every day are so overwhelmingly huge. There are so many of them. The roots have, have grown into everybody's basements, and they're coming up their walls with the roots into their houses. Um, they're everywhere. Um, you so how, do you, how does one strike at the root? Well, again, this is the only place it's going to happen is in New Hampshire. And that previous caller who was wondering about all those things that are going on in New Hampshire, all I say is get to New Hampshire. All that stuff is going on, and it takes more people to get there and to just enjoy freedom. When when I first moved to New Hampshire, I had to move away because my father was ill. Dave Ridley welcomed us with this greeting. He said, now we're a little bit safer and you're a little bit safer. And I've never forgotten that. That was the best greeting I've ever gotten in my life. And it's true. It's not just that we're safer and we're around like-minded people. I've been watching the cop block stuff that's been going on on YouTube in Manchester and the DUI checkpoints that are not just unconstitutional, uh, but they're amoral and against natural law. And these days, if you say something about natural law, you become – they're going to say, oh, well, this guy – you know, they're trained. They're trained. The cops are trained fear. And you know, instantly when somebody says something like that, they try and talk and defend themselves when the cop has pulled them over, which they shouldn't have done in the first place because they're not processing it. You know, not, there's no victim, um, and they're impeding someone's natural, you know, right to travel. Uh, the adrenaline rush kicks in, and they think, "Oh, this guy's probably a terrorist," because that's what their training is done. I have an yeah. FBI file because of that kind of stuff. There was a situation yeah. with the sovereign citizens. There was a, a pair of them, I guess that sort of went bananas and shot a couple of cops. Um, obviously, you know, that's a pretty serious situation, but you don't want everybody who mentions the Constitution to be treated like, uh, you know, they're going to shoot somebody either. Well, that's that's what they're, that's what they're trained. And, and I'll tell you, most of them don't have the smarts. I'm sorry. They, they don't have the smarts or the ability well, to discern. And, and there's well, so well, many of them. So the training, you're supposed to react to the way the training goes, but you consider for a second the Southern Poverty Law Center sent out a video um, and, you know, pointing out just how dangerous these sovereign citizens are. And, uh, you know, I don't, re- I don't understand. I mean, it's well, just Mark, bizarre stuff. I went stuff. to court yesterday. I went to court yesterday. I, I, I got a whole bunch of trumped up charges uh, for because a I'm 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 an activist and, and b they're coming after me and they're going to come after every single person that decides they like freedom anymore. Uh, and they called me a sovereign citizen. They told the, the judge this, and the judge looked at him and laughed. And uh, luckily, my you know my lawyer golfs with the judge. I guess I don't know. Um, I, I won't say I know or not. Uh, but uh, you know the judge kind of laughed. They said, "Where'd you get this information?" And, and and these guys didn't have anything to say about that. It. It's baloney. I don't even know where the heck they got it. Um, uh, the, uh, this, this, the the judge kind of laughed at him, and he dismissed it. The problem is I, I should have been acquitted, and I didn't think about that, of course, until I left. The reason they did that is because you can sue after that. And this is a revenue game, and we all know it. Um, so there's no recourse now in their system. So, you know, I, I, I guess I think that the root is the theft which they are perpetrating, the, the nice cop that we think is such a nice guy who called in, who's getting his salary from, you know, who never probably t- speaks up about cops who are out of order because they never do because it's their paycheck, which is usually higher than most other people's in their for their skill levels. Um, and they are pretty cushy jobs. Uh, sure, there's a level of danger. But, you know, if you think about the reason why the, it's dangerous, because of what they're doing. Well, a lot of the danger in law enforcement comes from walking along the side of the road. About half of the— And not being being respected because of what they do. Nobody respects them anymore because of what they do on a regular basis. They don't spend time— they don't, you know, if, if they really wanted to do something, they'd work like the Threat Management Center in Detroit, Michigan does. Um, and if people aren't familiar with this, they should look on YouTube and see the— I don't know his name, Dale, somebody, do you know his last name? I don't know the the guy who runs the Threat Management Center, but I do know that it is basically a private security company um, that sprang up in the absence of the Detroit Police Department. Essentially, the Detroit Police Department has decided that uh, they're just not doing business after 5 p.m. You can come only— Or weekends. Or weekends. You just come to the office uh, between 8 8 and um, 5, and and that's all you can do. And uh, people don't feel served. They're not being served. The reality is they're not being served. In the town that I'm currently residing in, 
uh, you have to, if you want to talk to the police, you have to fill out a form and put your social security number on it before you get to talk to anybody at their station. No kidding. No kidding. I'm not kidding. Hmm. So, you know, and, and, you know, you speak up about this stuff and they're going to gang up on you. They're going to try and destroy your life. They'll try and, 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 and you stand up for yourself. They're going to go after you. And this well, guy right here who called in, who, 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 who I'm sure he probably thinks he may think or mean well, but I know that what I'm saying is resonating with him. And I know that, you know, he knows on some level he's not going to speak up and Lumpy. silence his consent. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. 855-450-3733 or LRN.FM on Skype. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. I I'm Phil Grandy from Phil's Gang. If you've been nervous about investing in the current stock market, then you need to listen up. Phil's Gang is having a free webinar on Saturday, September 13th. That's going to be at noon Eastern time. You're going to learn how to invest in this type of market, not just the stock market, but you're going to be investing in yourself. Don't miss it. To sign up, Go to LearnStocksForFree.com. That's LearnStocksForFree.com or call 877-600-4264. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My Magic Mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, MyMagicMud.com. Listen, you've heard the commercials before. Whether you owe 15000 or $15 million in tax debt to the IRS or state, we can help. On a never-ending payment plan, penalties and interest killing you, missing tax returns, being garnished or levied, not a problem. If you qualify, we can remove levies and garnishments within days or even hours of hiring our firm. If you've been summonsed, or even worse, receiving tax warrants in the mail, call right now. Are you a business owner with back payroll taxes? Is the IRS or state threatening to close your business you've worked so hard to build? Protect yourself and your business. Even if you've tried in the past, new guidelines could potentially qualify you today. So what are you waiting for? We can take that tax monkey off your back. Call the Tax Monkey now, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, that's 800-281-6030. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. 
Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The ProXPN toll-free call-in line here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. 855-450-3733. Or you can call us on Skype. Our username's lrn.fm. You do have to send a uh, user request, but we'll take care of that right quick. I just I can just click a button and take care of it. You can get a free pound of coffee by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. A free pound of shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica bean coffee. Delicious coffee. Take my word for it. It's among the best coffee I've drank in my lifetime. And I can drink it every day because I get the coffee, BuzzBox coffee, from coffee.freetalklive.com. And it's a subscription program. You go sign up. You can cancel any time. Get your free pound. Walk away. You don't need to... Nothing more. But if you continue to get the coffee that, you know, you drink coffee every day, you're going to continue to want coffee. Um, you can help people around the world because for every 10 people that sign up at coffee.freetalklive.com for the subscription program, we have another, uh, we're able to give another micro loan to another family somewhere around the world. I don't know whether they need a plow or a sewing machine or a car or a bicycle or whatever it is that they need, restaurant equipment. Um, one, one woman we helped needed restaurant equipment. Whatever it is they need, we're able to help them because people get the coffee they drink every day. They've upgraded the coffee, upgraded their experience, and now they've upgraded their giving by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to the phones and to the fun. It's John calling in from Virginia. John, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. You didn't have to wait long, did you? No, right there. <clears throat> Mine's a little, my response to this is a little bit complicated, but not really. Uh, typically, <clears throat> they take our time, detain us, and cause us grief. And uh, This is what police officers do? Police officers, city officials, anybody that gives you grief. Yep. Um, you never walk away yeah. for free, right? Like, they always get your time. Right, they get your time. But, see, that's because you haven't put a price on your time. What you'd probably be wise to do is sit down and type up a little letter, uh, like a contractor, uh, say, okay, my time is worth $700 an hour, plus uh, all of uh, uh, building quarter hour increments, and uh, stick in there uh, if collections necessary, you will pay for all collection fees, plus maybe 40% interest compounded weekly. Now, send that 40% compounded over. weekly? That's pretty, pretty serious. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, sounds I mean, like one of these, uh, you know, payday loan sort of things. Bigger than that. I don't even know that's legal. It sounds like usury. <laughs> and it is usury, and you know what? It, but it is legal because, see, if a person starts consuming your time and taking advantage of you unfairly, you've already got it down there in writing. And send it certified to your local police department and your local city utility department, and just let everybody have a copy of it with your name on it so they know. And even your automobile license number. So they know that uh, anytime you're detained or falsely put in jail, all that's the billable hours in quarter hour increments. I've heard this talked about. I mean, I've I've heard this idea over and over again uh, posited. I've never spoken to someone for whom it's worked. I've never spoken to somebody who said, oh, yeah, yeah, they wrote me a check for $110,000 for that pullover. I mean, sometimes you can sue them because they've, uh, you know, they've broken the law or something like that, but not this billable hour thing. Well, it did work with Verizon Telephone Company when I cut off my phone early and they wanted to bill me for later. I told them verbally, and then I sent them a, sort of, well, I sent them a text email, I mean, an email and a letter. But see, you have to put these things in writing. You can't just verbally say it. And, uh, you know, they called me and they laughed at me. And they said, you know, that's ridiculous. That fee is extraordinary. I'm like, yes, it is. And, and you know why it is? Because I don't want to be harassed by you for an account that I closed legally. And uh, next thing you know, a couple of weeks went by, and I got somebody calling me and wants to negotiate the price down because I sent them a bill. 
It's hilarious. Um, uh, you know, know. But when it comes to when it comes to the 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 city, uh, the fact is is the government has stepped into the role. The state has stepped into the role of the monarch. Um, we you know we have nine thousand years of history with the, this concept known as the state, and it's a top down hierarchical organization that claims to protect you, um, although they don't have to. In exchange, oh. you have to give them your fidelity, and that fidelity means that they can waste your time whenever they want. That's because you have never put a price on your time. Do this with your lawyer. Your lawyer's going to laugh his ass off, and he'll say, hey, I'll gladly, gladly represent you, especially if I can bill whatever I want to bill to these people. See, lawyers don't want to represent you if there's no money there. But yep. if you get in a position where there's plenty of money there, you can get a really good lawyer to do this for you. And he'll ring on the new ass. Well, I can, <laughs> you know, I can. I, I've talked to a few lawyers about, uh, you know, this this whole different concepts uh, inside of the. I don't even know what to call them. If these sort of legal theories. Um, well, that, you have to pre-codify them. It's as if it's as if because uh, the city contracts two builders, all right, and you're a, and basically you are an entity with uh, your driver's license shows that you're a, a corporation and an entity. And, but you never have a price put on your time. But you well, do have to notify them, certified mail, what your time is worth beforehand, not after. You have to do it beforehand. Do You and, you do know that uh, they call some of this kind of stuff paper terrorism, right? Well, uh, actually what they're doing is terrorism when they're violating— Oh, I don't disagree with that. Okay? you got to fight them, fight fire with fire. They love money. They love getting big paydays. They love having big budgets to work with. Let's everybody get together and take a little nibble and bite out of their budgets. Because you will win these things if you notify them ahead of time. But you're not time, you're not taking money out of their budget. All they'll do is just raise taxes, and then everybody will be mad at you because, well, we wouldn't have had to raise taxes if you didn't build a city for a million dollars because they pulled you over. Well, they'll change their behavior, that's for sure. They won't have as many uh, unannounced road stoppages. No, yeah. they'll just stop pulling you over. Well, if, well, they, if they've got to pay, it's liable to hit them in the pocketbook. I'm just skeptical as to whether or not this uh, system is going to work. But, John, I do appreciate well, the, the you know taking the time to it, it would tell work, folks about it. It would work if the police officers had to pay out of pocket. Well, I, I don't and think, that doesn't happen anywhere. I don't think anybody's going to pay for it unless it just happens to get sort of lost. Oh, there's a bill here, and they don't know why there's a bill, right? Uh, you know, and then they just pay it. I but suppose. I, I'm not talking about just this, but whenever there's a legitimate lawsuit over a police officer violating someone's rights, and then there's a settlement. Unless the police officer is paying out of pocket, he's not going to care about the settlement. It doesn't when, seem very fair that taxpayers pay for the fault of um, an individual officer in many cases. When and this Car is the problem with uh, qualified immunity, immunity. When Carla Garrick wound up getting a settlement from the town of Ware, and then somebody else got a settlement from the town of Ware. A couple of few And them, yeah. Ian got a settlement from Palmer, Massachusetts. The police officers that made the false arrest or the illegal arrest they weren't harmed in the pocketbook. And many times they shouldn't have been because it wasn't the police officer individually. It was the uh, it was their, you know, the chiefs that were telling them how to behave in that circumstance. So if you tell me as an employee, my boss tells me how to do something, that becomes the boss's responsibility right. at that point. So I think it should go up the ladder to where it rests, whether it's the, um, you know, the, the OIC or excuse me, the officer in charge at the time, um, shift, the police chief, whoever it might be. So we have a little bit more left in this article. We do. So we started this earlier in the evening and there's a, 17-year veteran from the LAPD, and he has written a letter of things not to do to make sure that you wind up not getting killed by a police officer. He writes, and you don't have to submit to an illegal stop or search. You can refuse consent to search your car or your home if there's no warrant, though a pat-down is still allowed if there's cause for suspicion. Always ask the officer whether you are under detention or free to leave. You know, this is something I find very interesting. I agree with uh, these statements, is that a police officer is allowed to do a terry pat to find out whether or not you have weapons. Yes. Then, presumably, they can then take the weapons from you. Um, they can take the weapons from you so that, they, that you are there for 
unarmed before them. Why can I not unarm a police officer before they deal with me? Why is it that I have to deal with a police officer that has a weapon on them, but I, they don't have to deal with me when I have a weapon on me? This is really strange, and it goes and it speaks strongly to the point that, you know, this isn't <laughs> – these they're super citizens with extra rights. Yes. And they, you know, they're better than you. He also says if you believe that the cop is violating your rights – don't speak up at the time, sue later, but never argue with the police officer. So what do you think? Should you never argue with a police officer? Have you had success with the arguing technique? Doesn't seem like a very good technique. Have you had success with it? 855-450-3733, Free Talk Live, or LRN.FM on Skype, 855-450-FREE, Free Talk Live. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, August 23rd, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.44 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,281 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $506. Antiwar.com reports, claiming the Ukrainian government was deliberately dragging out the delivery of 280 trucks full of humanitarian aid stalled in customs at the border with Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered the convoy to go in irrespective of Ukraine's wishes and deliver aid to civilians trapped in the eastern Ukrainian war zone. Reports out of Russia say that part of the convoy arrived in the seized border city of Luhansk, setting up aid centers across the city, delivering food, water, medication, and even some electrical generators to the city. The rest is headed further south to the largest city of Donetsk. The Ukrainian government is calling the deployment of humanitarian aid a direct invasion by Russia and is demanding an immediate withdrawal of all trucks as well as all of the supplies they brought in. Ukraine initially made a deal with the Red Cross to bring in aid weeks ago, but reneged when the Red Cross made a deal with Russia to provide much of it. Since then, the Red Cross has been trying to work out a deal to bring the aid themselves, but were not able to get Ukraine's assurance that their aid trucks wouldn't be attacked. The U.S. government angrily condemned the Russian aid shipment, declaring the dispatch of food and medicine a flagrant violation of Ukraine's sovereignty and threatened new sanctions on Russia if the aid is not withdrawn 
on immediately. Russia's UN ambassador lashed Ukraine over the delay, accusing them of playing politics with the aid and saying that with no chain of command in Ukraine to work with, Russia had no choice but to send the aid unilaterally. Ambassador Cherkin also criticized Lithuania, the member of the UN Security Council, which called an emergency meeting over the aid shipment. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to take Peace, Love, Liberty Radio on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty, while simultaneously continuing to create daily liberty media. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit GoFundMe.com FPPCC. That's GoFundMe.com FPPCC. Reuters reports, Tennessee death row inmates whose execution dates have been set filed suit on Friday against the state to stop it from using the electric chair. Federal public defender Kelly Henry, who represents five of the 11 condemned inmates named in the filing, said it was filed because the state of Tennessee stands alone as the only jurisdiction in the entire world which now involuntarily subjects inmates to the electric chair. She said the filing, with four different attorneys involved, amended a suit filed in November that challenged the process of lethal injections in the state and also said executioners' names should be revealed. The Tennessee General Assembly in its last session passed a law making the electric chair the backup plan for Tennessee executions if the drugs for lethal injection become unavailable or if lethal injection has been deemed unconstitutional. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Antiwar.com reports the Palestinian parliament is complaining about a growing Israeli military crackdown against the elected body, with Israeli troops regularly moving against members of parliament across the West Bank. In theory, the parliament has 84 members, but 36 of them are in Israeli jails right now. Of the 36 detainees, 24 of them are being held under administrative detention totally without charge. Khalida Jarrar, a member of parliament from Ramallah, one of the non-detainees, was woken up pre-dawn on Wednesday by Israeli troops who ordered her to relocate to Jericho. Israel claims she was inciting against Israel's occupation of the West Bank. Israel has been cracking down increasingly across the West Bank since the Gaza war began, labeling every public protest a riot and moving violently to crush any signs of dissent, particularly in East Jerusalem. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. In what medical authorities are calling one of the worst ointment complications in White Plains Hospital's history, area girlfriend Caroline Nagler was rushed to the ER this week after suffering an extreme overdose of scented lotion. With a blood lotion level of 0.45, hospital sources confirmed that Nagler had rubbed onto her body four times the lethal limit of shea butter, green tea cleanses, and naturally soothing mineral therapies. Even putting aside the sheer level of lotion Ms. Nagler had on her person when she arrived at the ER, this was an especially lethal combination she was using. She was mixing scented moisturizers, age-defying serums, and even some harder stuff like jojoba and essential fruit extracts. Frankly, she's lucky to be alive. In other news, Beijing's air solidifies. A Delta Airlines counteragent assures a man he will never see his family again. And a mannequin must think he's some pretty hot They say if you love something, let it go. But how could we possibly leave you behind after being blessed with a relationship as unique and complex as this one? For more, keep checking theonion.com. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. Here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Daryl. You can go to archives.freetalklive.com and get free downloads of Free Talk Live going back for many years. Most talk show hosts, they charge you for back episodes. They charge you for new ones if it's a... 
If it's a podcast, well, Free Talk Live, we give away our streams, our podcast, and our archives completely free. Archives.freetalklive.com to go get them. Let's go to Lewis calling in from Keene. Lewis, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi. Well, sometimes you do win when the when you get an unjustified ticket. Tell me about it. I use yes, I used to live in uh, New York City in the borough of Queens in a neighborhood called Whitestone. And this was in the mid nineteen nineties. And we used to have armed sanitation police. Oh, really? That would, yes, and That's they incredible. would go up and down the streets. And literally, we had one of these sanitation policemen was notorious. He was terrorizing everybody. He would write tickets with absolutely no cause. And Basically, a ticket, by the time they were done surcharging, it would run you between $200 and $500. So is this like for putting the wrong thing out in the garbage? Uh, no, this was actually for claiming that there was litter on your sidewalk. Okay. So yeah, you literally had store owners that had to pay somebody to sit out on the sidewalk and just sweep, because otherwise he would pelt you with tickets. And, of course, it was always your word against his. Yeah. So one day, uh, I used to work at night driving a cab, and I was drinking my coffee, getting ready to go out to go to work, and I hear my mailbox open and close. And I open the door, and there's this sanitation cop standing there. And I said, what are you doing? He says, I'm leaving a ticket in your mailbox. You had a candy wrapper on your sidewalk. I said, you know, you're supposed to give me fair warning to clean it up. And then, if you come back and it's here, you're supposed to write a ticket. You gave me no warning. And he said, basically, tough yeah. S, and walked away. So I took the ticket, and I mailed it in, and I said exactly what happened. And uh, because you had to respond by mail. And I didn't hear anything for about eight, nine months. And then one morning, my, there was a knock at my door, and there were two officers from Internal Affairs at the door. And they said, look, we, got, we understand from the judge that you made a complaint that this officer made a false accusation about the candy wrapper. Can you prove it? How I said, you? okay. <laughs> well, well, actually, I did because I said to the internal affairs, I can prove it right now. I said, how did you get me to answer the door? And the guy says, the officer says, I knocked on your door with the door knocker. I said, right. If you read the officer's ticket carefully, it says he rang the doorbell and I ignored it. So he left the ticket in the mailbox. Awesome. I said, where's the doorbell? <laughs> there you go, what? Lewis. That is a great call. Thank you so much. <laughs> you you got to read these things. The fact is, if you take it to trial, oftentimes you will have an opportunity to win. Yeah. And if nothing else, that just proves the reasonable doubt. You know, it doesn't prove that there wasn't you know, some sort of litter on the sidewalk. just gives reasonable doubt that the cop lied on the ticket. Awesome. I love that punchline. Uh, Grumpy, uh, calling in from Arizona. Grumpy, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Well, Daryl, yesterday you guys had a blatantly racialist caller on who just so happens. And let's go to Phil, calling in from Indiana. Phil, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, I was calling. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I was calling. I was uh, just turning my car on and uh, really didn't catch a show too much, but I was driving down to uh, Indiana to meet a friend that had bought a uh, expensive go kart, like a two thousand dollar go kart from me, and he was going to pay me the remainder of the money. Well, he got a flat tire. He called me, so I'm searching for a tire for him up and down the interstate. I get. I'm supposed to meet him in Indianapolis. I get down all the way to Dearborn, Dearborn County. Uh, state trooper pulls me over, says, um, you're following a 
the semi too closely. Why were you doing that? And I thought about it, and I said, well, I didn't file the semi too closely, but I didn't think too much about it because it was raining. I was doing 65. So he said, uh, you got your license and registration. I pulled that out, and I was in the process of pulling out my insurance. And before I had a chance to pull out my insurance, he asked me if I could step out of the car and get into his car. And I didn't think anything of it. So I did so. He, he, before I got into his car, he uh, patted me down, asked me if I had any weapons, anything like that. I said, no, of course not. It's all he getting very strange down. here. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, he patted me down. I wondered why he got in my car or why he made me get out of my car. I thought because maybe it was uh, raining. And so I didn't think anything of it. And he said, uh, do you have any, after he searched me and put me in, in this front seat, he, uh, and that was from searching me after he searched me from putting me in his car, he comes back and says, do you mind if I search your car? Will you give me consent to search your car? I said, well, if it'll make the process faster, absolutely. <laughs> right. Uh-oh. Uh, so I, Usually so that's I, not so the I, case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not the case. And, you know, I will never in my life give consent to search anything of my vehicle because, I mean, I don't smoke pot, don't do drugs, any of that stuff. So this guy, uh, I sign a form. Next thing I know, there's 20 cars there. They take my car. I have a... Um, a nice vehicle. It's you know, it's about a thirteen thousand dollar car, fourteen thousand dollar car, and they just tore it apart. Didn't find anything in it. A guy comes over, says, "I'm DEA. Um, we know that you're trafficking drugs." I said, "Listen, man, you can look at my phone. You can do whatever you need to do." I said, "I'm supposed to meet my friend. He's got a flat tire. He said he's at this exit." And they said, "Well." Just tell us where your stash is at. I said, I just gave you consent to search my vehicle. What do you want me to tell you? So anyway, he got to the point to where he was threatening me, telling me, well, we know where you're transporting drugs. And I said, listen, if you're going to start threatening me, then I may as well just shut up. You can take me to jail or you can let me go right now. I said, there's nothing in my car. I said, if it's a speeding ticket, write me a speeding ticket and let me go. So the, the state cop that pulled me over gestured, gestured without a voice to the other cop and pointed to his front seat. And there was a baggie sitting in his front seat of his vehicle, right in the middle of the vehicle, not in the crack or anything. I said, well, if you're suggesting, suggesting that that's mine, I said, you know damn well that you just put that there. He had went to his trunk. Mm. And I said, is that what you're charging me with? He said, yeah, you're, you're, you're effing going to jail. They did that so they could take my vehicle, so they could impound my vehicle because they thought that I was smuggling drugs. Took my car, tore apart even more. I was in jail for almost 72 hours before they let me out of jail. Told me they were taking me to jail for uh, possession of cocaine. I said, "Don't isn't there a way you guys can run fingerprints? I said, you guys got cameras in your car. Can't you tell that I was sitting right there and that I hadn't moved my hands or anything? And I'm still going through the process right now. I got an attorney. They finally. Why do you think they targeted you, Phil? I mean, I, I have no idea. All those people they could have gotten. Happened, what What happened? I think is the friend that I sold the um the um goat cart to was probably involved in shady stuff. And I'm a nobody, so maybe he was trying to set me up, trying to act like he's helping these cops. Um, and and just acted like he was going to like I was going to bring drugs. Bizarre story. That I had drugs or something on me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the call, Phil. Appreciate it. You, you gotta watch out. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Never give consent for a search. Americans Never. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. Three hundred doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving three hundred thousand patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run, run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how asia run like hell guide.com wake up and smell the freedom one of the easiest things you can do to help liberty is to torrent freedom fiends episodes to help keep them drone proof 
You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Toll-free lines brought to you by ProXPN. Live Saturday edition. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. 855-450-FREE. Or you can call us LRN.FM on Skype. That's our username, LRN.FM. You've probably heard a lot about Bitcoin on the news. And You really don't, you know, maybe you know something about it, maybe you don't, but it's really been kind of difficult for people to get them. A lot of folks think you have to do some kind of shady backroom deal, uh, you know, go into an alley someplace to buy them. That's not how you buy Bitcoins. You go to ExpressCoin.com. They make it simple for you. Um, They're the best choice for buying Bitcoins and a a variety of other cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin. They make it fast, easy. It's completely legal. They're a licensed money services business, inexpensive. They've got the lowest fees I've been able to find. They pride themselves in their customer service, and their customer service is great. It's ExpressCoin.com. Get your cryptocurrencies. You can use a money money order. 
check, wire transfer, or you can make a deposit at a credit union that has shared branching right in your town. Within a business day, you'll have your Bitcoins. I think that's among the fastest way to get biz bit Bitcoins on the planet. Just start off at ExpressCoin.com. You can even do it from your smartphone by downloading the app, ExpressCoin.com. Yes, you can do it in Canada. And if you use coupon code FTL, you can get $40 or under of Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency you want for no fee. It's coupon code FTL at ExpressCoin.com. Well, we've got lots of calls coming in. Daryl, you ready? Yes, I am. Let's go to... Greg calling in from Mobile. Greg, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Well, I was just going to make a comment on this Homeland Security professor or his article. I haven't seen it, but just from what you said, he's talking to people in a common sense way. It, the, you get stopped by a cop. A cop is under a lot of pressure. You don't know what kind of call he's on. He has to ex assume that anybody he stops might be uh, aggressive towards him or her, et cetera. And they're not all perfect uh, naturally. But it's the old analogy. If you're in a crosswalk and the light says walk and you see a truck coming that's going to run the light, or you, do you go ahead and walk because you have the right of way and you can, or do you wait for the truck to pass? I agree with you I mean, completely, Greg. These, this is good advice in, deal, in dealing with somebody who's unstable. <clears throat> And is on a power trip and <laughs> is potentially violent and dangerous. I agree with you. That's good advice. I think that it is sad that in this country we feel we have to deal with police officers that wield that kind of power. When we have the ability to put them on the record, um, you know, they're public servants, they should be on the public record. We should have audio and video of what they're doing at all times. They work for us. That's the story anyway. And so, yeah, that way I can know the next time somebody gets shot, I don't have to guess. I don't have to wonder well, what happened. When, when I grew up, we were taught to respect the police and we could trust them. And we could. And then in the social experimentation of the 60s, People start getting pushy and saying, I've got these rights. Well, we all know we had the rights, but very seldom did cops ever violate your rights. The only people they were aggressive with were criminals, which was pretty obvious. And they, they walked the beat or they drove a certain area, and people knew who the cops were. Things changed. People got aggressive. Groups got aggressive towards the police. Uh, they started their protests, the Black Panthers, the Weathermen, et cetera, et cetera. And it got to the point, some the policemen, they didn't know who they could trust. Well, let me ask you this, though, Greg. I mean, the the disparity in black to white incarceration isn't something that started in the 60s. It was going on no. much earlier than that. Now, I would ask you, um, now, I, I'm, I'm just going to go on a limb here. I'm going to guess you're a white guy. Um, yeah. I was raised the same way you were raised. I, you know, use your Sunday manners when dealing with a police officer. Um but I kind of wonder to myself, is this the way I would treat an employee, which is what these folks are supposed to be? And second, is this the way they treat the way they treat me? I've never claimed they've treated me badly. On tonight on the show, I've been very clear. I've always been treated well. It's what I'm wondering is is what's it like to be treated like I'm not white? Or I don't claim a color, but you know, well, I can understand let, why somebody talk, might imagine talk, I'm white. Let's talk the black and white issue and say, what is it like to be treated like I'm a criminal? Well, what do you act like? You act like a criminal, or do you act like a law-abiding citizen? Do you think criminals? Have, let me. Do you think that criminals? Black, are, cr criminality isn't isn't re isn't uh, restricted to black people. Nope, I wouldn't. I would agree with it's you completely. Do you think that criminals are are mean so with the, the cops? To take, yeah, but the cop has. To, to now, in this day and time, the cop has to say, no matter who I stop, they could be aggressive towards me. They could be a criminal that had just committed a crime I don't know about, uh, uh, no matter what color they are. Everybody so has probably just committed code. a crime that you don't know about. There are so many laws that it's impossible no, to I'm go talking, through a I'm day without a committing a crime. I'm not talking about a paper crime. I'm talking about a crime you don't know. You, you don't. You don't even know at your stop 
why the policeman stopped you. Maybe there is, he's on a call or looking for a suspect, and you might look like that suspect or have a similar appearance as who he's looking for. You know, yes, cops commit crimes out. in uniform all the time. Should I treat a cop like he's going to be um, committing a crime against me? Why do they get to disarm I don't me? Think that, I don't think that would be smart. Because no, it wouldn't. You wouldn't treat them like a regular human being. That's the only point I'm trying to make here. Well, I mean, they're not going to, they're going to, once they see if you're polite and you follow the rules and you don't, you don't look as suspicious to them, they're, I've dealt with policemen before. They're, me too. They're very, uh, adaptable to saying, okay, this isn't the guy we're looking for. I've, uh, I've, never I, seen one I've been suspect because I was walking along the side of the road one night. Well, yeah. What are you doing out there? They I'm walking to, to a friend's out. house. Okay. That's fine. But, you know, there's a lot of people walking out there that, hey, why are they there? Maybe you weren't new to the area, or you were new to the area. They haven't ever seen Lived you. Lived there my whole life. This is look. These are big city cops. They've never seen me anyway. I, I'm just well, saying, Greg. True. These people, um, oftentimes, they act like they're superhuman because they're treated like they're superhuman. They're they're ec- they've got extra rights that you and I don't have. It's few and far between, though. You, you talk like this happens every every day to every person they stop. Nope, I would not claim I've that at all. Many cops. Nope. I would not claim that at all. I'd say your chances go up if you're young, poorly dressed, um, uh, male, and um, not white. Hey, there's a lot of drug dealers uh, that are dressed very well driving a nice car. Do you, what do you mean by dressed shot. well and driving a nice car? Uh, most of the drug dealers I've seen, the nice car, it might be an expensive car, but it's not what I would call nice. It would They might as well write drug dealer on the side. <laughs> I do appreciate yeah, the well, call, though, Greg. Thank you. That's true. <laughs> free Talk Live, 855 450 free. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, There's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Spare fuel can be used in any gas-powered vehicle or generator. Spare fuel is perfect for any unforeseen out-of-gas emergencies. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel is safe to store with your other supplies, and it can be stored for many years. Go to GetSpareFuel.com for special pricing. That's GetSpareFuel.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Talk Live. You can give us a call and talk about whatever is on your mind. The number is 855-450-3733. Brought to you by Pro XPN. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. Live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Give us a call. You can do, even do it on Skype. Um, the username is lrn.fm. Let me tell you about modup.net. Studies show that one in five students using this cognitive enhancer um, offering multiple benefits, include a, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, greater focus overall so that you can get things done. Businessmen around the world continue to talk about how modafinil from modup.net is making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge that they need. So if you uh, need some focus and you're feeling fatigued and trying to get that extra edge where it counts... Modup.net. They provide the um, only the highest premium modafinil with the highest potency so that you can enjoy significant results. That's why they're the number one sponsor of Reddit's third, par uh, third party nootropic testing project. Uh, Free Talk Live is an international radio program, and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. Modup.net is a supporter of the Bitcoin community. You can order from modup.net with Bitcoin and get a 33% discount. To make the deal even sweeter, use code FTL, and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. So use coupon code FTL, modup.net. Look into it for yourself, but I'm sure you'll find out that uh, modup.net offers world-class service at a great price. It's modup.net, coupon code FTL for those 10 free tablets. Let's go to Gene calling in from Mobile. That's your hometown, isn't it? No, I'm from Birmingham originally. Oh, I see. Gene, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, how are you? All's well. I was just I was just listening to uh, your discussion. Uh, I had an incident a few years ago. I'm a truck driver by trade, and this drove. Thank you for your mobile. service. But the thing is, oh well, thank you so much, sir. But um, <laughs> I was in Butte County, uh, Georgia, uh, around Jackson, if you don't know where that is on the map, below Atlanta, and um, I had a little problem with my card reader when I was fueling at the Loves over there, and boy, this. Uh, Anyway, I did that to go in and out the, the store, and I didn't want to go back in to use the restroom. So I, uh, I found this real skinny pole to uh, relieve myself behind. Well, uh -huh. and I kind of saw a camouflage car in the little bar next door, bar and grill next door, and I said, "Oh, that's not a cop car. That's not." No. But it was. I mean, I end up right in midstream, and the guy comes uh, running up and down. You know, didn't even get a chance to zip my pants back up to Harley, and. Uh, but anyway, he starts charging, what are you doing, what are you doing, hey, what are you doing? And I'm saying, uh, oh, I'm sorry, sir, I guess that was bad. Yeah, that was bad, just send him, 
what are you doing? He kept yelling at me, asking the question, like, you know, I'm obviously urinating. You know, what am I supposed to be praying? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I wanted all this explanation for urination, and then the, uh, and I was, I went solid because he said, oh, he's in your driver's license. And I, I'm reaching back to fill my driver's license. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I said, I'm handing my, my driver's license with a smirk on my face. Oh, you don't want to answer me. Put your hands behind your back. I mean, I'm being silent. And he wants to, and he arrested me, towed my truck out oh, of God. the, you know, called his, called his buddy record service, towed my truck out of the fuel island. I had to pay my company back $740. Jeez. Sat me in jail overnight, 24 hours for urinating on the ground. Wow. And he put me in the back. I mean, me, a, a white guy, and another, you know, we, you know, we were like an upside down Oreo. I was the black guy and the black guy and then the other white guy. They were <laughs> Same in there. Whatever. We would have we, we would have made an Oreo if uh, the white guy was in the center. But I mean, <laughs> the thing is, we were all here is my fat butt sitting in the back, you know, screaming, "No, don't shut me in there, please!" You know, I'm sucking on the win- on, on the window, uh, and and uh, they put all three of us back. And, and one guy was just, I think he was just drunk. The other guy, I don't know what, but. We were all three in a holding cell all night. No cell, no mattress, no nothing. With lights bright on the whole night. Did they and, let you uh, go with nothing? They let me go. Uh, the magistrate heard it the next day. And I said, isn't that kind of harsh for, I mean, being on the ground? Oh, yeah, you were the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, being on the ground. On grass. On a knoll. On the grassy knoll. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I mean... Jesus, and I, I'm, I know I have a smart mouth, so I was just quiet. So uh, I said, uh, oh, well, Mr. Olivia, what do you want to do? You want to just let this go uh, uh, with this? I said, yes, I would just like to wash this out and be done with it. They would not give me a ride to anywhere. I had to walk uh, to a motel. I, I missed the load that day. It was a Friday. I couldn't deliver till the following Monday. And you had to pay him back 700 bucks. All, and I had to pay my company back seven hundred and forty. Crazy bucks story. Out. Thanks for the call, oh. Gene. <laughs> wow, that is nuts. That I mean, everybody's got to go. Yeah. If anything, that's a lesson that truck drivers should just wear the uh, adult diapers. Oh God. Let's go to the Skype lines, Dave. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, good evening, everybody. What's going on? A hey, uh, couple of callers back. I want to touch on the guy was saying, like, you know, how the cops change through time, you know, like in this, I was born in the mid fifties. I seen the whole change happen and it was when the drug war started. Yeah. Nixon. And then they kind of profiled real heavily. And then all of a sudden the drug war turned into this big money making machine for the cops and and the law, you know, taking people, you know, sh- rushing in the houses, shooting grandmas. And it turned into this, this Patriot Act war. Like now, now the cops are empowered with the Patriot Act that we're all considered terrorists and that they have to get militarized because they, they're living amongst the terrorists, you know, like, and, and now it seems what if they could shoot you like a dog on the street, you know. And Speaking that, of dogs, shooting with, dogs, they do. They can do that whenever oh, they want. They do that all the time. And somehow yes. the post office has been dealing with uh, dogs for hundreds of years without killing any of them. From what I've been told, the SWAT teams are instructed to shoot the animals to try to invoke a reaction from the family that they're raiding. Why would they want to invoke a reaction? Well, that certainly couldn't so be could policy written down. And, so they could shoot them and there could be no witnesses. Yeah. That's- then you don't have to take it to trial. Now, look, I'm not going to say that it's uh, that, that wouldn't be the end result. I'm not um, saying it's a written policy. I'm saying that's what I've heard that they've been told. Dave, thanks so much for the call. Appreciate it. And let's go to Walter calling in from uh, Lynchburg. Walter, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, yeah, I appreciate your topic tonight. It uh, made me think a lot. And I was calling about the, just uh, thinking about the cops that you were talking about. And, it, I, you know, I think a lot of things changed because of the family values. And, that you know, these days the cop pulls somebody over for speeding. And if 
they happen to have a warrant, they might shoot them. And, um, and it happens all the time. And I, I, I think that if we got back to their, if everybody would start getting back to their original family values and everything, then, and condemning the people that do this, which doesn't seem to happen, um, that things, all of this would go away. Which family value is going to, uh, you know, to, to fix this? I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out. Well, well, you know, the fact is that um, we were, we were, I was raised in a southern family, that, and that we were taught to respect the police, and that you respect the grown-ups and parents, and you also respected other people. And the fact is, um, the kids today, you just don't hear it, and you know, the ones that you see on the street. Um, you know, they just don't have respect for any authority, and that just kind of goes on where they just kind of do. And, and, of course, a lot of them now are even armed, and that's kind of where the situation has gone bad because, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I would never have ever – I mean, when we went on vacation, um, I just got back from vacation, but when we went on vacation when we were younger, we didn't even lock the house, and we were gone for two weeks. Wow. That's a heck of a you story. Know, you didn't, <laughs> Thanks for you the didn't call, Walter. To. Appreciate that. Um, I'm, there's no doubt in my mind that things are going to go better for you if you use your Sunday manners in dealing with the, with the law. Um, and you probably should lock your door when you go away on vacation. 855 450 free, free talk live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, health care, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Uh, thank you, George. I appreciate you <laughs> taking up this issue. Fair talk, if a man ain't cooked crisp on the hellfire desert, and he ought to be left on his own. Well, right, Joe. Immigrants are desperate for a better way of life. We Get... need the strongest of these crude backward browns to keep us all alive. I see the ones that can swim the Rio Grande, too. Berto, you swum that border river to get here, ain't you? Joe, not all Mexicans came here by swimming the Rio Grande. No, 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 no. I got sympathy. I crossed Huron Lake in the barrel myself using hands as paddles, lived off the car, what jumped at me. Now, you swam that river, no, ain't you? Joe, actually, I was born here. What you know about hard work? Ain't never swam no river. Many immigrants, they I say you ain't never be... know the man tell you seen his teeth. Show him your teeth. Too many teeth rotting out shows you're dishonest in the mind. You got strong man full teeth, Bartol. I apologize. This is the Onion News Network. 
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You know, phone lines are full here, so I'm not going to give the telephone number. But, uh... You know, the final segment, live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Thanks very much. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. Ian is away at a birthday party, if you've been wondering where he is. And check out drewsdefense.org. It's hard to believe, but there's a man in, he's not in jail, he's out on bond, a million dollars bond for running a message board. Is that right? Allegedly. Allegedly running a message port. Um, it, it's amazing stuff. You want to hear the story, go to drewsdefense.org. Obviously, you don't use a um, apostrophe uh, when writing on the interwebs. Drewsdefense.org. Let's go to Paul calling in from Keene. Paul, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Good evening, Mark and uh, Daryl. Um, I was calling in kind of in regard to the uh, police thoughts and and I listened to your caller a, a few back, uh, Greg, I believe it was, that was kind of saying the police have a lot on their minds. Um, back a couple of months ago on uh, June 17th, uh, about this time at night, around 10, uh, 20 at night, I was on my way uh, to, to the airport to uh, pick up my son. And uh, I was, I'm driving along, and I, I have my low beams on, but, I mean, I can see, going the speed limit and everything. Now, then I see a vehicle, you know, the outline of a vehicle beside the road. So I put my high beams on. To take a look? To make sure it was, yeah, make sure there wasn't an accident or help. You know, maybe yeah. somebody else. I do it all the time. Very, you know, you, you yeah, see something, and, you don't know what it is, you light it up. Yeah, and was in the middle of the street, you know, vomiting or something, you know. So, so then I thought, oh, it's a police car sitting there without lights on, but I didn't see any movement or any other vehicles. Um, so then as I, as I get by the car, I put my low beams back on. I continued driving exactly as I had been. Boop, on go the blue lights. And I, what the heck, you know? And, and like I say, as I'm on the Did way you feel served and protected? No, I didn't. I was feeling like, what have I done? I'm under the speed limit. I'm not speeding. I'm not weaving or anything like that. So he pulls me over. Yeah. New Hampshire's up. the only place I know where it's okay to drive under the speed limit. Nobody thinks anything of it. <laughs> yeah. I do it all and, the time uh, now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's like, license and registration. And I'm like, sure. Um, what am I being stopped for? License and registration? I, sure. And can I get why I'm being stopped before I present my license and registration? I assume you must have a reason. Reasonable and articulable well, suspicion. Yeah. He, he's, well, you you put your high beams on as you are approaching me, and after you went by, you put them back on low. I said, yes, I had them on low, but I put them on high to to make sure that somebody wasn't in the road or, or there wasn't an accident there because I could make out the shape of a vehicle. But I put them back on low. Like, that was fine. He says, well, that doesn't seem like a very smart driving procedure to me. I'm thinking, what the hell? Like, possibly I should have stopped and asked the state police department in Keene, New Hampshire, 
on how to control my lights as I drove to the airport. Like, uh, I could see on low beams. I didn't need them on high. You know, I just put them on high to check out what was there. And so he detained me for 21 minutes and then let me go because I had been doing absolutely nothing wrong. And I, I asked him that when he finally came back, like, so tell me what I did. Was that illegal or no? I says, but I had my lights on. Everything seemed fine. Yes. I, I says, because I'm on my way to get my kids. And I, I told you that. And now, you know, 20 minutes, 21 minutes later. So, you know. Then, at that point, because I'm 21 minutes later going to get me get my kids, the rest of the trip, I found myself speeding to compensate for this guy's, you know, yeah. let me show my authority. You felt late. So instead, yeah, then I ended up breaking the law the rest of the trip to the airport because of this cop stopping to show his authority. And not, not to mention the fact oh. that he created a, uh, I mean, it's just, it's a disturbance on the side of the road, those flashing yeah. lights. I'm a volunteer firefighter, and I can tell you the two uh, two accidents I've seen, just when I'm directing traffic right there at the, the scene, trying to get people around, they want to look at those flashing lights. They're interested in what's going on. Bang, they hit the car in front of them. I haven't seen anybody get hurt, but, you know, little fender benders, and it's, it's distracting. Cops could die on the side of the road. There's... It, it should be a really good reason for a police officer to pull somebody over on the side of the road. I'm not saying it doesn't need to be done. I'm just saying it ought to be a really good reason. Yeah, that's what I feel. If I was speeding, sure, but I wasn't. If I was driving erratically or something, fine, but I wasn't. And he said that, and I questioned him. Like, So what was I doing wrong? Nothing. Yep. Thanks yeah, for the call, you know, Paul. Appreciate it. Uh, you know... I, I think that uh, I think we, I think things need to change. Uh, really, I don't yes. even think speeding's is good a good enough reason to pull somebody over. A few miles an hour over the speed limit. Uh, frankly, I think in many cases the speed limits are too low. Yes. They should actually make the speed limit the you know the 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 maximum safe speed that somebody can travel that road on. Because I'm a hundred percent certain that's just not true in most of uh, most speed limit zones. Uh, I've watched documentaries about you know roads and speeding and the way the speed limit is supposed to be is the 85th percentile of the speed that people go on that road hmm. and they're not doing that they find that you know the average person drives 10 miles an hour over the posted speed limit the interstate's 70 miles an hour Everybody's going 80, and it's the person, the, the dangerous person is the one who's going 65. Yes. Because they're causing the bottleneck. And, oh, and police officers, they always cause everything to kind of, you know, just seeing one of them causes everything to be messed up. Let's go to Robert in Bellows Falls. Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, uh, you know, if you go to YouTube, you'll see there's a lot of videos of in there, you know, police doing, you know, a lot of things that they shouldn't be doing. But you know, my, my my question is, you know, is is it me or is it or is it like the police are trying to jumpstart like a like a like like some kind of a, like a revolution or something? To, you know what I mean? I don't think so. I really think that people see their worlds the way they see them, and that the majority of police officers feel like you know like they're put upon in many ways like i i just i feel like it's like they're out to get me they don't understand what my job's like i wear a bulletproof vest for a reason you know they've they've got this concept that they're in danger all the time it's it's not even in the top 10 most dangerous jobs in america and commercial fishermen is the most dangerous roofers loggers truck drivers um well actually anybody sort of in the the delivery but um these are dangerous jobs police officers not as much you certainly you know the most the the the, the police officers that have the most danger in their lives are the ones on tv but I think that they don't see it that way. I think white America views what's going on in Ferguson completely different than black America. There was actually a poll done by, I believe it was the Washington Post and ABC that showed just that. Yep. That there is a giant divide and I'm not saying between black how America's people right. are seeing things. I'm not saying black America's right. I'm not saying white America's right. I, I would imagine the truth is probably somewhere in the, in the middle, but... 
the only solution I've posited on here on Free Talk Live tonight is cameras, cameras, cameras. If we knew what happened in Ferguson, there wouldn't have been the riot. Robert? I, I, I have to totally agree with that, but, I mean, to me it's getting to the point to where it's almost, you know, uh, uh, it, 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 you know, like you have to be on guard when you go out there. If you're, like if you're going to go drive to the store or, or go pick up your child or something like that, because, I mean, you're afraid that if you, you know, hit the white line, you're going to get pulled over, and then, and then you know, then the trees all start, and, yeah, yep. it's getting pretty scary out there. Thanks for the call, Robert. You know, they've got swerving inside the lines. Have you ever heard of somebody getting pulled over for swerving inside the lines? I've never heard of such a thing. Yep. I, I've, I've had people tell me that they've gotten pulled over for swerving inside the lines. Were they uh, dodging was... potholes? Because that seems to be a very valid reason. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I, I think that that's kind of it's, it's kind of silly, right? Like you're touching a line or something like that. Yeah. And it's time to get pulled over. I, you know, first off, police officers listening. Please stop pulling people over for swerving inside the line. I, I think that it should be a very good reason to pull somebody over because it's dangerous. It's yes. dangerous for the police officer. It's dangerous for the people driving by. It's dangerous for the person in the car. We need a different customer service model around policing in this country. Yeah. Uh, another form of revenue generation in the very least. Thanks so much. You can catch us out in the meantime at uh, freetalklive.com or check us out on Facebook at facebook.freetalklive.com. It's been Mark and Daryl. Free Talk Live. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Why does a U.S. orthodontist make more than some CEOs? You get that dental bill and you'll know. Implants, partial or full bridge, the kids need braces? Fractions of 